and this is this is kind of a first for me. A little bit of a face reveal, I guess you can call it. I mean, that's uh, that's a heavy heavy lie. <laughs> I always have my face showing out in videos like this. But this is gonna be a little different. Um, technically, it's a client build. I didn't necessarily build it, but we're gonna end up having to rebuild it due to a couple of things. But uh, yeah, let me um, let me try to get this sorted out here. Sorry for the angle and a little bit of roughhousing with the camera. Um, I'm using a Logitech C920, and if you could see what it's standing on right now, it's literally in between my uh, the middle of my kinesis. <laughs> And uh, I got a, what is that, a Mentos Pure Fresh Sugar Mint Gum attached to the side just to get this angle. Matter of fact, well, let me go ahead and take a picture because this, this is some janky stuff right here. But hey, I mean, you know what? This works. This angle looks nice, right? But uh, yeah, so, you know, consider this humble beginnings for whenever, uh, whenever I get big enough that I have all the equipment that I would normally need to stream. Let me see if I can get this to show up real quick, but this is actually pretty. It was just whatever was on hand, man. Sometimes it's just like that. So webcam is sitting on top of, uh, yeah, sitting on top of a little gum dispenser and my keyboard. Um, but yeah, let's get some music up in here. Um, I'll see what I could do about making sure that. Pop this. Up. <laughs> Understanding was uh, a lot of the stuff that was in here was used by his friend, and then of course you know he, he uses it because it, that's what his friend was using. Like some of the mounting options weren't the greatest, but it's okay. You know everything still works, so to speak. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and just kind of work over some stuff and then just. Uh, This is literally at the lowest of the low. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, what, what was that, five minutes? Seven. Alright. Alright, so we, we got all the sound stuff knocked out. Let's go ahead and just start over. Forget it. Uh, so, this is my buddy's computer. Um, first client, long time. Um, the what I'm looking at, uh, he kind of just wanted me to like give it a quick once over and help him out with what was going on because he couldn't get it to boot. 
Uh, at the moment, doesn't have any RAM in it, but that's because he's waiting for RAM to come in, and he did have some RAM he was using from another machine. Um, but there were some small um, errors that you know we're just gonna go over because I, I actually I'm looking at this and I remember when I did a lot of these, so I had a quick discussion with him and I just wanted to make sure that uh, client uh, to technician relationship that it was okay with um, sharing my findings and. Uh, fixing them on stream so that way if anyone else runs into this somehow that they they can understand uh, what to do um, first time I'm actually doing this in this platform it's sitting on a via lac table and the uh, the camera is on a gum dispenser but I'm gonna give this a shot and we're gonna see if we can get this going uh, in the meantime hopefully the music's okay um, I don't really have much of a yeah um, let me see. I'm trying to just get some nice lo fi up in here. But only. I'm trying to find something nice. You know what? Let's do some synth wave. Whatever that sounds like. Okay, so. Um, the hardware is actually pretty new outside of the video card. I think this is the X5. Um, the motherboard is an Asus X570 Plus Puff Gaming. Wi-Fi edition. Um, this is a. I'm not sure what, what, but this might be like a X110, but this is a 300. Yeah, 380, 80, three fans, 80, 460, whatever the rat is. Regardless, really big rat. <laughs> oh, hey Bradley. Uh, you know what, man? I gotta make sure I keep up with chat. Yeah, dude. Um, I um, I was thinking the same thing. I think, but you know, I kind of just minimized it to just uh, there's some small stuff I need to do. Like, I might I might just need. I I'm definitely in for an upgrade CPU wise at the very least. That's where I'm at. <laughs> All right. So uh, first things first. I don't normally use this, but you know we're on stream. Got to make sure you show everybody the proper way of, of fixing computers and stuff. You have a a, a, a grounding strap. Um, so this clips in because you know that way you can plug it in and if you need to move it you can take it off if you're gonna go on the other side you can just take it off that kind of thing. uh what does it say a colleague of mine apparently bought a scalped 390 on ebay 3090 the scalper just slapped the label in the box and shipped it oh wow that, oh man dude that's fucking nuts. So literally, just immediately, oh man, can't, man, I don't want to hear that, man. I feel freaking horrible. Yo, I got a 3080 out of uh, out of, out of Micro Center because a friend of mine had uh, had some contacts with some, well, up there. He let me know um, when it was supposed to come in. And I just came and I bought it and I left. It was like the five minute deal. And it was one of those where I was just like, I'm gonna have to put it on a card. Uh, he says, yeah. He's upset. The security camera shows the guy walked up, grabbed it, smiled, waved at the camera as he walked away. That's just bougie. Man, that's petty. That's real petty, man. Oh, man. I'm sorry, dude. I am sorry. Um, I didn't want to hear that. That just, like, hurts my soul. Ease. Um, so, uh, wow, man, I feel horrible. Um, <laughs> you can't really talk about it because that's like, man, that's just an evil, evil person. Uh, the seller? Oh, because he, he just, dude, you're right. I mean, you know, couldn't even put it in a box. The box would have been like $4, you know, at the most. Um, directly. Right? Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, so grounding strap. We're just going to stick it, stick it right here. Oop. It doesn't really matter as long as it's on the case. It's grounded to the case. The case is metal. You don't have any like residual. Well, I'll put it right here. I like putting it there. All right. So, um, <laughs> man, that just that seriously hurts my soul, man. All right. The trusty screwdriver. This isn't the one that I use for all my builds, but this is the one I'm using for my for this one. Um, one thing I want to check on real quick or point out is the VRMs have a cooler right here. This bar, one of the coolers. Uh, VRMs are basically the power management for the CPU um, and they're like um, I don't want to get too too deep into it I'll probably just like start 
blocking up and talking about just that. But they, they, they help manage and distribute the power cleanly over to the CPU across all of its lanes. You have two rows of them. This bar, underneath this bar over here, and the underneath this one right on the side. Um, I don't know what he's talking about. Something about homeowners. Ah, it's not gonna work, man. You, you, no, they're gonna have to. You see, the good thing here is he got it on camera. He's gonna have to get in contact with the uh, shipping department. He might have to file a police report, and then what he'll do if there, if it has insurance. If he was smart enough to put insurance, he might be able to um, get the police report and give it back to the FedEx shipping department and then uh, basically let them know X, Y, Z happened. Um, and then also, uh, you know, locate the police because I'm pretty sure, I mean, you see the problem, that's so fishy because the issue there would be uh, FedEx delivered it, and then they have notification that they delivered it. That they delivered it, but so if someone took it outside of them delivering it, they already did their job as far as they're concerned. So that's hard. That's a hard. That's a hard pass. I don't know how that's gonna work out. I wish them the best of luck. Um, that's all I could really say. Um, but uh, so like I was saying with the VRMs. They get really hot. What, it, what you don't want to do is you don't want to take these wires, which are for the, the pump and the CPU fans, and you don't want to take the wires and literally just stick them underneath here for power management. If anything, these are the only wires that are going to go up and over. Uh, first, a couple things I noticed right off the bat outside of that. Uh, see the video cards in the second slot instead of the first slot. So now this is running at half speed. Sometimes I don't even run. Uh, depending on how uh, the setup is yeah that too uh, and then he's gonna he's literally gonna have a trouble because he's gonna have to get in contact with that's hard man that's a police report and just hoping that I, I don't even know how that would work out because if someone steals a package from your door the good thing is that that's a federal offense he has video footage and he could literally just uh, nix the guy that way but that's more police stuff um, I, I would if, if if he's one of your friends, I'd tell him just uh, contact the cops. Oh, that's even because hey, look, man, I don't know what to do. Uh, I, hey, you know what? We're probably not gonna catch this guy. But how is he supposed to get his money back, right? So you're you're in a you're in a lose lose situation unless you know what? Maybe even he, if he contacts his uh his uh his credit card company. Tell him that he, that he didn't receive it, it was stolen or something, and see if they'll, um, you know, what they'll do on that end. Because uh, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Um, all right, so that's all I got to say on that. Uh, first things first, I'd like to disconnect all the power cables. Um, now, we know that this is in the wrong slot, but what I'm not going to do, unlock it. I'm not going to actually use this real quick I'm just gonna leave it out let me see what is this this is a 580 uh, and this is super old yeah GTX 580 wow man wow this is freaking history right here see this GTX 580 GeForce logo on the side it took me a second all right we'll, we'll put that to the side I thought when you said I thought when he said he had a 580 he had an RX um, it looks like the wrong screws are being used for the motherboard. Uh, they look like standard Phillips screws. Let's take one of these out. We... Oh, okay, cool. It hasn't, they're not like pressed in here all the way. Plant it back on earth. Hammers just. Sucks. Sorry, Chief. You, you gotta give me a few seconds to catch up on chat. Um, I will. I just wanna make sure. Wow, this is a screw. Okay, this is a actual old school countersunk. Flathead? No, uh, Phillips. Don't want to use this for motherboard screws. Need to be on standoffs. In that regard alone. Oh, the uh, the eight pin connector for the CPU power isn't connected either. 
And it looks like it might be a little bit more than that because there's another four pins directly next to it. So that's a four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Do you need 12 for this motherboard? Um, yeah, you can see it right there. There's no cable on that end. So that's, uh, that's, yeah. <laughs> you definitely want to make sure that uh, before you do anything that you, you plug in your CPU power because this is never going to come on if your CPU doesn't have any power. Um, it'll come on, but it won't do anything. And also, uh, since I'm taking out these massive screws, how long is this? Oh, all right, cool. <laughs> Slowly phasing out the Philips. Yeah, Philips these days, supposed to see that um, case. I don't know, maybe. Um, sounds like, yeah, we got three people in here. Oh, snap. All right, I'm just curious, just because, mainly because I don't really get a lot of time to mess with this. Uh, look at my little digital calipers I got for 3D printing stuff. Yeah, this is actually my buddy's computer. Um, I'm helping him out because uh, he was having some issues. This is nice. Okay. What is this? We could do it in inches? No, it's really metric. So let's, uh, let's mess around. Okay, change that to 19. 19 millimeter screw. <laughs> All right, so this is completely massive compared to uh, what was supposed to be in here. Um, this was this incorrectly used. I'm so used to my camera being up there. Incorrectly used, but it's okay. Uh, the thread, the thread, like whiff was all right, so it doesn't look like we stripped anything. It was just clean in, clean out. Um, so just the wrong screw used. That's all right. See, I've done worse. I've literally put power supply screws in here, and that was pretty bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, man, definitely. Um, but that was like you know you start out you got to start out somewhere so this is uh a from what i remember this is a 5800x um so this is the new 5 series amd processor um i i don't know was this 480 rad i think is what it is 460 rad that's what what is it 140 140 140 280 so 360 rad there you go 360 rad uh massive all right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the entire thing apart at this point because these two right here, as I mentioned before, are the pump and it's the pump um, USB and the, uh, the fan. So it should be the fan and then the power for it. Um, so it should have the CPU fan connector on this slot right here. Can't see it, but this is like one uh, fan connector, a second one over here, and then that third white one, which you can barely see, is an RGB connector for uh, RGB strips. Um, I see. Uh, slowly phasing out the Phillips head. Don't forget cooling. Yeah. Uh, so um, this is perfect setup. Just incorrectly installed. All right. So we're gonna take this out. Make sure you have all the little connections here out. This was actually done really well. Is that usually when I when I used to stump my builds, I used to always mess up the power and the reset switch at some point um, until I got really good at it. Um, this is just another chassis fan. I'm just gonna disconnect everything. We're gonna make sure we get this down to the motherboard, and um, there shouldn't be anything else here that's interfering with anything. So I'm just gonna disconnect. Cool. Fan bits. Oh, look at that. Okay, we might might be able to get away with this. I think this is a the three pin. This might be the CPU. Yeah, this might be the CPU fan. Uh, yep, it's coming off the wire. So we just drop that right in here for now. No, uh, we'll work on wire management and everything. Fun. <laughs> that's the uh the cpu fan that would also be why i didn't start um i don't think i need to no i do need to take the motherboard off because of the standoffs there's no standoffs on here and it looks like we're missing one two uh three four five six six screws and then the other two that are in here Three, three that are in here, four that are in here. I have to back, uh, but 
are all these massive um, that'd be awesome actually I've seen that done even better uh, they actually have a um, it's like a it's like a pie computer that's designed to look ex almost exactly like the Commodore 64 it runs Linux I think it has like 8 gigs of RAM maybe a gig of video RAM or 2 gigs of video RAM um, I saw it on Kickstarter not too long ago maybe like a month ago um, but we'll definitely take a look at some stuff afterwards alright so I'm gonna have a lot of these little screws because th these screws are what was used on this motherboards uh, this motherboards uh, well securing the motherboard to the case uh, again, just a quick reminder. Static strap. You know, always worth it. Um, so, I'm just uh, kind of here fixing this build. If some stuff was done incorrectly. Uh, in the, my, uh, my client's defense, um, he hasn't built a computer in about 10 years. And what's interesting is that all the stuff that he would have gotten wrong are stuff that's really changed. Like... Mainly like placement of certain wires and stuff. So it's not really that bad. Like, he did pretty, you know, I think he's watching. He did pretty good, man. Like, he really did. Like, he didn't really fry anything. Nothing's really installed that incorrectly. That can't be, like, changed. It's not super detrimental. Like, you know, yeah, it's not going to run. But it's not, it's not like, you know, it would have exploded. There's a lot of protections that are in place when you, when you build a computer in general. That'll stop it from, or stop you from, like, harming the hardware. Um, to that degree but uh, yeah this is just basically just properly installing a motherboard and getting everything hooked up um, what are we using so we're using a EVGA Supernova 850GA I think this might be a newer one I'm not used to these labels I have a 860p2 platinum this is a gold 850 which is great if he wants to upgrade to the where we sucking up power nobody's business um i'm gonna take this off here usb I need to have fun got the ball just got so tired of that the board placements you have this massive connector and they, they expect you to like snake it down and usually you don't have this much room because it, I, I don't normally run a full tower case uh what's up let me see what's up here questions we got uh, oh, question. I have not repasted uh, my CPU for over a year now, and the machine runs 24 7 a day. I think I should repaste it. So, yes. Um, usually, you're, you're good for like, I don't know. Yeah. All right, let me, let, me, let me hit you with a little bit of a, what I used to do versus what I do now. All right. Um, my first PC I built in 2002, I was like 7 8. I remember me and my dad were doing it. He helped me with wiring, and he was, like, like, making a jig out of everything. It's actually sitting over there, and it runs Linux. I just haven't messed with it. But the reason why I bring this up is because I remember I used Arctic Silver 5. <laughs> Look that one up. I, I think I have a bottle somewhere. I used Arctic Silver 5 on my Athlon XP AMD CPU. And I had, you know, now there's arguments about, like, thermal pace method. And stuff you know what I mean like the, the P or the X or uh, whatever else I'm gonna tell you how, how I did it back then and you know everybody can sit there and cringe this is we're talking about 17 years ago okay so Anthon XP and what I did was I um, I remember I put the thermal paste I had it on the edges and I used a credit card back then and I made sure there was a clear like a clear even layer of thermal paste nice I have used the machine that was a Pentium 3 I just never owned one like you know like you go to school I, I even worked on an Apple too at one of my old schools it's just I never actually uh, it wasn't mine you know so I can't say I started on that I'm so used to my camera being up there uh, yeah, the voodoo cards, man. I, I feel like I, I just want to go back and just like do a retro build and actually go and get uh, old voodoo cards and like um, I might just throw it in my antique case because that case is pretty old. Uh, I'll, I'll do some show and tell after we're done. But back on this thermal paste, right? Because I don't want to get sidetracked. I, I tend to get sidetracked. Um, I'm working on it, so bear with me, guys. I appreciate you. So the thermal paste for um, the reason why 
uh, all right arctic silver five and i ran it and i think i ran the stock a little bit higher than the stock cooler so it wasn't anything like this because that, that wasn't around back then it was like um, a a lot taller air cooler something like uh an 80 mil fan was on it it was super fast you know what i mean in terms of like airflow and stuff the um the coolers back then were just really made to be high highly not highly efficient but to work and work well and they were designed robustly like it was just everything was heavy duty metal um cool cool beans man uh you know what hop into the discord let me see real quick i'm sorry i got it i got everything like wirelessly connected here uh all right let me do this real quick there you go hop into the discord um should be let me know if, if something's wrong with that hop into discord man throw suggestions or you know i guess i gotta have now i really have to have like pc building stuff in there we'll work on the on the discord stuff but drop drop a line in there man um as for uh, the thermal paste, so like, yeah, like I had had a little thermal paste there, and I literally had that machine running 24/7 until 2007, 2008, when I updated it to from XP to Windows 7, something like that, and I only changed it. Thanks, man. I literally changed it eight years later. Like, no, 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 five, six years later. Um. And when I did, the thermal paste that I was using, it wasn't cakey. It was still liquidy. Like it, it you know, it still had the, it was malleable. It wasn't like a, a cakey film. Um, and it was just take it off, wipe it with alcohol, put a new thing on there, drop the CPU uh, cooler on it, and you were good to go. So flash forwarding that today, if you had it for a year, I'm not 100% sure because the compound's a lot different that's here's the interesting bit the original compound that came on my amd uh 2700 cooler yeah heavy <laughs> that cooler had um the original stuff and it only lasted a year and two months because i had just replaced it two days ago and i replaced it with the last of my thermal grizzly and it was not only caked on there but I couldn't, it, when I took the cooler off, it, the CPU came off with it, regardless of the fact that it was locked down. And when I looked at it, and I have pictures, and I will post it in the Discord, but I have pictures and I took it and I threw it on, on Facebook. The pictures literally showed the CPU uh, stuck to it, and, and by God's grace, the pins were not bent. But when I tell you that I looked back and I was like, oh, that's bad. The, and I had just like, you know, warmed it up and everything. The paste that was on there, I had to take a knife, excuse me, my awesome knife, I mean, this is another thing, you want to move around from your computer but don't want to forget, you know, your straps on here, just take it off, now you can move around, you're not going to worry about uh, being tethered to your computer and dropping it somewhere. Uh, let me get my knife real quick because you can get the get a proper idea of how sharp that thing was, but I literally had to cut around it. Where is it? Oh darn, it's downstairs. Alright, I had to cut around it with a knife. Cut around the edge and get it to the point where the chip had no excess. And the moment I did that, I took a plastic pry tool and I stuffed it in the corner. And as soon as it touched the corner, it just slid right off. Like, just, it didn't like pop off. It was no like crazy effect. It didn't just like launch itself in the other room. It just slid off. And I looked at that and I was like, that's insane. Because, you know, you look at uh, the quality of the thermal paste, you figure that the original OEM manufactured stuff would be good. But it wasn't. It, it literally caked up like putty. And, I, and it wasn't in there. And I didn't even get to use my unit like that. You know what I mean? So in that respect, uh, that's where I got to say, if you're having an issue with thermal paste, and you know you're you it's like some of that newer stuff and it's not like an aftermarket thermal paste like thermal grizzly or any of the noctua stuff i would probably change it once a year especially if you're changing parts like if you have to go into the machine and mess with something on the motherboard at a point where like you're taking something off putting it back maybe like you upgrading a, a video card just to have it so that you know you don't have to test um or you don't want to like you, you want to check to see, you know, your temps and stuff. You want to make sure, you know, you're, you're set. 
you just want to be able to do the baseline so that your, your CPU is not like overheating or anything crazy happening. So you can rule that out for if you're benchmarking for your uh, your CPU or your graphics card. That's where I would almost always change it. So I, I mean, I change mine, honestly. Um, I check it every like couple of months. It depends on how what my temperatures are doing. Because, you know, like you, you turn it on one day and your Delta doesn't change and your, uh, your CPU is like, Thermal throttling. It, it, I checked my, my cooler right now. It's massively dusty. So if I have to clean the cooler, I'm changing the thermal page. Um, it's more personal preference though, but I would definitely make sure you get a good third party compound. And uh, if you're going to change it, you do it that way. Um, back on this though, um, not much else really needed here. Uh, this, this motherboard's held in by two more screws, three more screws. Um, nothing else is connected outside of the motherboard connector, which we're going to get rid of right now. Hold on. There we go. Calm and nice and stuff. And make sure we plug our, our static strap back in. Let me see if it throttles and shuts down. And like, and it's too quick. Uh, the machine. Mm. This is just uh SBC system hold on um my brain <laughs> drawing a blank chief one second i forgot what the SBC was uh bc yeah um no no um yeah most definitely dude oh man single yeah single board computers duh <laughs> Uh, my brain. I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna be honest. I, first time I woken up in like six months at 9 a.m. So I'm not all here, kind of here. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> Discord. <laughs> uh, yeah. Brain. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, man. Same here, dude. Um, I so. At least we know if I'm doing any of this IRL stuff, I'm going to make sure I, uh, I have a tablet just loading chat so I don't have to continue to look here because it's kind of distracting. Um, yeah, let me see. All right, so, we, so let's just do a quick checklist before I continue because it's really not that much left. Um, video card was in the wrong spot. We're using screws like actual Phillips screws these massive Phillips screws instead of standoffs so that that's a bit of a danger there because you know you want to make sure everything's properly grounded um, the CPU connector wasn't connected the CPU fan uh, wasn't connected in the correct spot the um, that's the AIO pump, so that's not even the right one either. Uh, the wires that were associated, that were connected for the Corsair, were underneath and in between the VRMs and the VRM heatsink, so they're they're kind of singed a bit. Um, and none of and we didn't have all of the screws in the motherboard. They actually, yeah, we didn't have any any of the screws in the motherboard. Uh, oh, I see what's going on here. Hold on the phone. This no way hold on so this this has like these bubbles out here all right uh, now I'm, let me take this off real quick I think I found something that's pretty interesting yeah so th that's a, that's what's going on with this build um, I haven't touched it yet like me touching it is what you guys are seeing right now I swear I did not molest this uh, this is just uh, a friend of mine and he's new to the he's new to it so he just missed uh missed a couple of things, nothing serious. Um thermal pace looks a bit weird. Like this isn't really so I'm look wait, can you oh you can't. Okay. Um Thermal Pace doesn't look like it's evenly distributed. It looks like it kinda got smushed out from the center, but like there's not enough in the center. Oh, I'm pretty sure he didn't really run this yet. And it already looks like it's caking up. So I might let me get some paper 
I might uh disconnect this. Okay. I might have to just grab uh grab some Noctua stuff downstairs. Yeah, I uh, we'll see. Let's use that instead. Depends on what's in the bag. I can get the packet. Okay. So the one problem I end up having, oh, here we go, <laughs> when it comes to my pops, is he likes to steal my stuff, which is funny because I, I feel like I feel like uh, I kind of deserve it because it, it was like a, one of those scenarios, you know, where you're um, <clears throat> you're doing this. He's um, he's using actually a 5800X. This is his first build in like 10 years. Um, and he got this uh, through Facebook, and the guy only like upcharged him twenty bucks. So, looking at it, it is the fifty eight hundred X. So Ryzen seven fifty eight hundred. Actually, you know what? This stuff's not bad. It reacted really well to the alcohol. It just came right off. You don't normally see that a lot. Even with thermal grizzly, it's a pain. That's uh eight hundred X. Um. I got 50% alcohol. I'm not even using my usual 91. It does look weird. Um, like it really does look weird. <laughs> uh, let me let me clean this off again. All right. Looks like it's kind of. You know what? Let's. Oh, the back of the cooler, right? There you go. See that? Any ice? Yeah, the case. That case is pretty good. Still, so, uh, yeah, man. I'm not gonna lie. Mini ITXs are no joke. Um, not at all. See, this stuff feels like it's caking on already. Unless this is the original. That's what it is. Yep. This is too much of a square. That's the original uh, thermal paste that was on the back of the Corsair stuff. What the hell are they using now? Like. Feel like like just like getting somebody in their their department and going, homie, what is up with your thermal pace? Why why is it gotta be like that? Like I know you guys are saving money, but like that's that's more. If it literally feels like um like I just put something in a foundation brush and I'm trying to like rub it on, you know, you know what it feels? It feels like when you get too much makeup on like your finger and you're trying to like smudge it off on something. And, or, or like you're smudging makeup on a mirror. That's what that feels like. That, actually, that's exactly what it feels like. Like, I'm looking at the back of this, and I'm like, dude, what is wrong with this? Because you see... Uh, yeah, you could see the angle. I don't try not to... Mm. Nah, dude. Only makeup I do is... Is, uh... These, um... Makeup for the CPU, man. That's it. That's what this is, man. You know, thermal makeup for the CPU and the cooler. So you, you, you don't burn yourself while it doesn't uh, overheat. Uh, like, look at that, dude. That's just not cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, let's kind of get this. <clears throat> yes, paper back here. Let's just get all this old stuff off. Right. Want that clear, clear copper color. It's super clear. Looking good. All right. This is my first live stream where, uh, perfect. Ooh, 
that was on the dude's, uh, the other guy's cooler. His, uh, his mini ITX build, the other build that you were talking about, Leon. Alright, now we got no, no kind of crazy up in here. What we're gonna do, um, we're actually gonna spin this around, go out to the back of it. XTM50? Okay. I'm gonna disconnect all the stuff. This is, you know what, for, for this first time, this isn't really that bad of a back panel. Um, yeah, this ain't bad. Like, I've seen a lot worse with just, uh, come on, gotta, gotta let me disconnect this. Let me disconnect. Err, good. Um, I've seen a lot worse. Okay, this is good. This is good. All right, so that should actually pop off. Awesome. And then this last piece here. Yep, I should allow that to pop up up here. But now, it needs to be cleaner. You're nitpicking me, Chief. With the, uh... Yeah, you're, you're nitpicking me, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give it another wipe, though. Just for you. Alright. He left me with some thermal paste, so I'm gonna see what's up. But yeah, uh, guys, music and stuff is good. I want to make sure. But like I said, it's my first like real IRL stream. Now the camera, everything I'm doing right now is experimenting. Camera angle is actually one of the first first times I'm able to do this too. Um. Okay. Leave that to the side. Appreciate it, man. It's my uh, my first shirt. It's it's not for sale yet. This is more of a prototype than anything else. But uh, when we do get merch, uh, this is what I'm looking at um, by design. Done by by my uh, my my buddy, Chris Burns. Um, I'll make sure I shout out I shout him out towards the end because I got to get on a keyboard and knock that out. But I appreciate it, dude. This is an iron on uh, a shirt. You know what I mean? Got some humble beginnings. APX, boy, thermal. APX. We will see, bud. We will see. Um. <laughs> Thick boy merch, man. Yup. <laughs> All right. Let me see here. Just want to make sure we get everything going. Um. Ooh, I made a small mistake. Let me check, uh, check this bit right here. My bad. My bad. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, I, I made a mistake. I was supposed to actually set up uh, extra large. I didn't get a chance to do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. Extra large and thick sized. <laughs> Small, medium, large, extra large, and thick sized. Man. All right. Give me a second. Let me, um. So, like I said, the, the, the camera is literally sitting on my keyboard. <laughs> literally sitting on the keyboard. I just want to make sure everything else is moved. Password for this should be that password. Mm, should be that. Oops, I made one mistake. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and put this here, and then I gotta get a text message. Bad. Good. Right. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, it's supposed to be. It's the 
submit. Perfect. All right, let me back up a bit. Um, let's, let's make sure we keep up with progress here. If you guys are new and dropping in, I appreciate you for doing so. Uh, let me actually fix this. I'm sorry about that. Still kind of going. I'm telling you, man, this angle's nice. Wait, it's sitting on a pack of gum right now. And it's like one of the tube dealer ones, the, the Mentos gums. I'm literally, this is like some humble beginning stuff right here. It's going to be awesome. All right, so um, we're going to leave the, 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 the actual case in here and see what the heck's going on with this because I am starting to think, starting to think this is this was done custom for the case, mainly because I just, just realized this is in here bright, but... The, the case itself has like these these bubbles like these little let me see yeah you can see that like these little bubbles right here and I haven't seen this before not in a case that uh that I've actually used I haven't seen this before but it looks like that is for uh it's like a built-in standoff and if that's the case we may not need the standoff but we can still use or should still be able to use these standoff screws uh hopefully um if not then we only have four of these, one, two, three, four. Um, considering I see what they are and I can probably get a thread size very quickly for it. If we need any more, I might just make a trip to Lowe's and see if we get the same. Um, but my initial, initial reaction uh, might, be a, might be a bit wrong here. Regarding it needing standoffs, <clears throat> but that's okay. I'm all right. Uh, you know, letting everybody know that I was wrong on something. I'm a human. The problem comes when you can't admit that you're wrong about something. Then you have a big issue. So let me uh, screw. We have five screws out of nine missing. Wait, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, five out of nine, six out of nine. I'm missing three screws. Um, go ahead and grab it from here. Perfect. Who's still here on stream? Want to get a quick roll? Uh, quick check on you guys, make sure everybody's cool. Leon's still here. Alright, cool. So, uh, this just literally just popped right out. Let's see what the heck's going on here. Alright, so this motherboard's pretty much set. Like, uh... Oh, he doesn't have a standoff for his... Okay. You see... It's good that, that every now and then, you know, like you, you, you do a quick double take. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Um, I guess while I'm still grounded to the case here. Check this out. The, the SSD right here. See that screw for the SSD? There's supposed to be a standoff for the SSD. Instead, there it is. Bed, it's one screw. Um, again, not something you would know immediately, but this right here shouldn't be happening. Um, so we're gonna take that out. That out. Perfect. I'm gonna just take this out. Is this screw here? Yeah, we definitely don't want to be using this for uh, mount. Um, okay, so the case itself. One, two, three. Let me see the middle screw. Kind of. 
the, what's funny is that uh, usually if you don't have your your um, your mounts in place, your, uh, your standoffs, usually you run into an issue where if you try to put any old screw in there, it wouldn't it wouldn't function properly because uh, it'd be it'd be off like literally out too far or in too far, and then you'd have a problem with the I/O plate, like putting that in. Uh, hopefully, in this baggie here, we might have standoff for the SSD. Um, see a lot of thumb screws in here. We got some high performance, uh, high performance thermal compound from Cooler Master. This is the. All right, high performance thermal compound. Um, double checking this right here. We got an antenna. We have the uh, 24 pin ground out for the power supply. Another SATA connector. Don't see anything else. So, hopefully, everything we need a disk and some code for something. Cable mod codes. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna check out this little baggie here and see what we got. What we need to change, add, whatever. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm starting to see the problem here. Hopefully, we have more screws. Even if we don't. Let's figure this out real quick. Uh, these look like hardware for. Okay, this. Like all the hardware for the actual for itself. Anything related. So. Um, so we're gonna have to just put this back because these are just like fan screws and other small stuff. I think I have a spare, uh, spare standoff for the, yeah, man, definitely. Those, uh, the Ryzen chips, they've been, they're sold out everywhere. Like I'm lucky enough to have a 2700X. I didn't get a chance to do anything else. Uh, but I kind of did jump the train a bit early, but then again, I had a 64, a 6700K for like four years prior to me making the jump to a Ryzen chip set. Um, the only other thing I know is I got to check this power supply and see what the placement is for all the wires because um, we're clearly missing a 24, or no, the 12, a, or the 12 pin connector for the CPU. Oh, make sure that in properly. And now uh, let me see. There. Yeah, man, I would, I would go for a 3700X, but at the same time, I really want to jump ship. 5,000 series chips because I was lucky enough to grab a 3080 what I've noticed especially right now is when it comes to like rendering graphics and stuff like in a game it's fine when I start doing something like just multitasking the CPU actually gets to a point where it's running way harder than the GPU is um, I, I gotta check to see if it's an actual bottleneck I don't think I've checked it like on websites and stuff, but it totally feels like it is. And I know that sounds really cliche. I'm not saying I know everything, but that was just kind of off. Yeah, so it looks like you just didn't have CPU 1 and CPU 2 in here. Um, that's it. It wasn't really that big of a deal. What's this? What is this? What are you? Hold on. PGA. You weren't plugged in. Okay. Um, all right. But uh, but yeah, so I 
can't. Oh, I can. Can I? Maybe. All right. Yeah. So uh, just bear with me here. I'm using a webcam. Um. All right. So at the top we have VGA one, VGA two, VGA three, VGA four, CPU one, CPU two, and CPU one and two are both eight pin connectors. Um. These here at the bottom should be SATA. So this is SATA one, SATA two. Then you have your two connectors for uh, the power supply. What is that? This is PSU. Oh, right, right, right. This right here, just a 24 pin connector for the motherboard. So 24 pin, uh, two SATA for like, you know, the actual SATA uh, power, CPU, and then this is where you put your video cards if you have um, one. So we. And then we could just look at the bag that he gave me or the box that he gave me and we're gonna try to find that it's two cpu got one right here so we're lucky okay. and then the other one should be a uh, vga a again vga means the card uh what is this refuel so this is for now they, they they literally just have one cable for just molex connectors refuel uh this one right here is sato this one is cpu and this is a four pin fan controller the four pin fan to molex pretty much done with this we're gonna put this back because we don't need this So we need two of these. Let's two of these. Um, on the motherboard, we have eight and four. So you are going to need two of these. The way I'm going to do this is like the split ones always go towards the motherboard. Yeah, solid connections that are on the CPU because they're split, the solid ones go directly to power supply. And by solid, I literally mean this doesn't have a split in it. On the other end of that, you have a split. There you go. Um, I'm gonna unwind this and just reroute, reroute it and uh, we should be good. In the meantime, while I'm just, you know, dilly dallying, um, Oh, it's only been an hour. Wow. <laughs> See, Sonic, dude, my first power supply. Shoot. My first power supply was an Antec power supply before everybody in the before four times. I had an Antec 550 watt power supply before, before any of this gold rating, platinum metal rating BS. So at a 550 watt when everybody was running 130. 200 uh, I'm not old per se pens now I guess I'm kind of old I'm approaching 30 um, 26 so I'm, I'm I'm on the down slope to 30 but um, I don't know power supplies back then were really 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 shitty like you could get a power supply plug your system in, turn it on and it would just blow up on you and you'd be like oh <laughs> like there was none of the oh hey it came on and it cut off there was none of that. There was no uh, cool beans, Mr. Cactus. Guess what? I turned 27 in a week. So, mm. <laughs> um, but nah, man. I think that's it. It ain't really that much. Um, they've done a lot in terms of power supplies and stuff. All right. So before we do anything, I want to check this, this setup here. Okay. So. This right here is the CPU connector. Then you have power for the pump through SATA. Oh wow, dude, I had no idea. Then you have three, and I think these are the three. This is for if you want to use Corsair Link and you want it to control the three case fans that you have, you can actually do it directly from the pump according to the CPU. Uh, from what he has here, he has one, two in the back, in the front. Yeah, he doesn't have a rear exhaust. And he has his three up top, which are already connected. Or oh no, never mind. 
other way around. These three have to connect to here because these three are going to be the ones that he controls with Corsair Link. Um. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're pretty much set. Um, let me just rewire everything and just call it a day from there. And look at how nice this case is, though. Like, they give you a grommet right next to the power supply. So you really don't even have to see any of your cables. None of them. Alright, so we're going to plug in these two right here. I'm going to put this back up here. And we're just going to hurry up with this one. It's got all of the... Uh, Um, you know what? Uh, let's put you in here, maybe. Good, sweet. All right, all right. Dino mine. All right. Um, are you gonna play Among Us, my man? Order some KFC and play Among Us, man. You know what? That's pretty lit. That's pretty lit. I, I can appreciate that. It's pretty early for me. Um, let me, oh wait, did I get one or two? I didn't do it yet. So we get your CPU. we plug both of them in, because we need them both. One, here. Now make sure the connections are top. Two right here. Awesome. There. Because this has to go directly up to the top and around, I'm, I'm gonna put it through the first slot. Because, uh, I, honestly, I've had a lot of experience with this, these particular cables not having enough slack. Really, dude? That's freaking amazing. Like, I'm kind of I'm kind of pissed. Because, you know, you figure KFC is an American thing that we'd have, like, KFC 24. But it seems like everywhere else, Japan has, like, a freaking KFC barbecue, like, like all-out buffet. They, they get a buffet, right? We just get regular KFC. That's it. And you guys over here getting late night deliveries. Wait, KFC delivers to you directly? I mean, that, that's what happens? Like, you don't even have to do like a Uber or nothing. They just, they just, hey, your food's here, Mr. Cactus. Here you go. I just wanted to let you know that, you know, you're an awesome like KFC customer and we appreciate you, which is why we, we got our, our poor lackey to deliver your food. Wait, what? Bro. Bro, hey, look, look, look. I asked, okay? I asked, bro. I asked. Stop dropping my name up in chat, chief. Come on. <laughs> but, uh... Duh. Bro, like, you're the only one I know that goes by Dr. Cactus. Hey man, you, you sure you sure you know it's me, man? I mean, I mean, you know, we we've been friends for a really long time, man. But you know, I, I don't know if you I don't know if you remember my username, man. You know, I'm not sure, man. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure if you remember my username. I've been around you for like how long, bro? Like, come on, like we got like five, bruh. Uh, bro, just to stop. <laughs> I'm not a real doctor. Uh-huh. I'm not a real patient. I'm just building a Oh not yet, Pops. Almost there. Can't break away at the moment. Come up here if you want. What is it, a paper thing? Okay. What guy? Hmm? Okay. No, that's fine. Got it. Alright, so he asked you to text him. Text me. Wait, one.
Yeah, it, the reason why they, they write the, the numbers... I don't have a pen. Oh, there it is. The reason why they write the numbers um, like that is to get around CAPTCHA stuff. Because what happens if you don't write it like that, it'll go, Hey, this is a personal telephone number. Um, let's delete that. So, like, you know, they in the middle of it, they'll write it in, like, different different things. But, I mean, y you know, you... This ain't gonna work. Here you go. Um... Hmm? Hey, Kane. What's up, man? Pops is up here working on this bit. Wait, why'd you? Why is he, uh. Why did he get timed out? What did I miss? Yeah, he said you should make him. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Huh? Oh, thanks. Yeah, let me get this. All right. Uh, let's see. Hey, Walsa. I mean, it kind of is. I mean, usually when you see something like that, that's like uh, Craigslist. <laughs> Uh, love you, Pops. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Uh, yeah, I know. Eventually, he'll be fine. He's just gonna go out there and go get his little KFC and just, like, come back with a bucket of chicken talking about, Hey, man, I don't know what you're doing, man. You're being all horrible and stuff, man. Shoot. <clears throat> Alright, um... That's Dr. Cactus for you. That's just how Dr. Cactus is, man. He's prickly, you know? He's not like a pine, but he'll he'll stab you if you try to hug him. That's just how it is. Um, yo, know, so, like, I think I'm just going to have to just get him to get new screws. So, like, these particular screws, from what I found out, is uh, this never came with, like, this particular case never came with standoffs. And from what it looks like is all the screws that are attached to this thing are these big standard screws because the standoffs are built into the case uh so um i guess we're just gonna rock what he has outside of that i just had to make sure I, I put in the power rails and stuff power for this that's basically it so just chilling in the meantime man <clears throat> we got six people here that's an all-time high <laughs> Holy moly, you just subscribed with Prime, dude? I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know, I don't really want to mess with the wiring too much. Like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know, this is pretty neat. It's not really that bad. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make sure that we take these two cables and we drop them up here. Because, honestly, out of all of them, these are the biggest pain. So, low CPU connector. Yeah, give me some excess slack. There we go. <laughs> this is a nice case to build in. I don't know what case this is. I think it's a, it's a Corsair. I think. Oh, nice man. Seven before. Heck yeah. Who says? Um, ain't really much in here. Like everything else is just plugging it in. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, for though, make sure, yeah, all the cable, okay, I see how he did it. So he took all the fan connectors, he made them in one bundle, and he put them all over here and connected them to the SATA um, that he's using. So, you see, there's a lot of good things that were done in this case. Like, a lot of times you wouldn't, no one would think about wiring it like that. Just more of, like, mishandling and not knowing. It, honestly, it's just not knowing. Like, not a lot of information on, on small stuff like that. So, I'm glad I got a chance to take a look and I'm really happy that it's in my home because this would be the first Ryzen 5000 series computer that I can say that I was able to work on. And I think that's awesome. <laughs> Especially since everybody's got it like super wrapped up and stuff uh, with um, with scalpers and stuff just killing those cards. Oh man, Kane, dude, check this out, this video card. Uh, he told me he had a, a 580, right? I thought he was talking about an RX 580. No, 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 no. This is the, hold on, the GeForce 
that GeForce 580. I was like, whoa, dude. He's running a GeForce 580 with a, with a 5800X. 50, like, that is amazing. I wonder what, what, what benchmarks would look like. <laughs> like, that'd be crazy. GeForce GTX 580 with a, uh, a 5800X. Oh my gosh. So literally, 5.8. I think I think what he did, he just dropped the zero and just put that in there. So it'll be fine. No one's going to notice I got a 5.80 with a 5,800. You know? But it's fine. He's actually just waiting on on, on uh, a time to upgrade for his um, his video card. That's it. Like, after all this, all you think he's going to need to do is just get a... Let's add another... Add those other two uh, PCI E VGA connectors. Well, the... Not VGA, my brain just went. Oh no, it is VGA. Just add the uh, video graphics adapter power plugs. VGA. Uh, get all three of them and then plug his 3080 in here because apparently that's what he's searching for. Um, man, I really want to make sure. Slide back in there. Out of all of them, screw. Cool. Grab this motherboard. Uh -uh. And then for the camera, let me see, I don't think, uh-huh, hey, can I get that rise in the show? A rise in. <laughs> yeah, man, but you see, your GPU is not bad. You have a 1060, right, Leon? I think you got a 1060. That's what you told me. Um, I have six, so one, two, three, four, and I probably do, ooh, ooh, ooh. If you're gonna swing, just swing down there, man. I'm not trying to have you smash a board or anything. It's gracious. Let's just get this in. <clears throat> there we go. In the case you go. Lovely. Just in there. But yeah, so as I was saying, this particular case is built in standoffs. I did not know how to deal with that at first glance. 1650 that's not that's not terrible um you're doing a lot better than this guy dude look up look up the release date of the gtx 580 and and let me know anything you can find because like it's been so long i i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure if i had to guess i think that's a card that came out in what 2011 no because the 970 was 20 no Maybe 2009, I want to say, is the release date for this. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's 2009. That's my, that's my top guess right there. That's what, that's, that's what I got for you. You can humor me and let me know if it's different, but I'm pretty sure the GeForce GTX 580 came out maybe like August 09. I don't know. That's my, that's my rough estimate. So, if you guys were able to find like any graphs on like like where that thing would support, uh, or like what what it compares to, that'd be very funny to look at. That's fun. All right. Boy, hello there. And there goes the other screw. Let me just... Oh boy. <clears throat> Put this here. Two thousand ten? Dang, I was close. Yo, what was the uh the AMD competitor for that card? Uh, was that the November 9th, 2010? Oh, boy, oh, boy. That is not... It got caught in the plastic shielding of the eye. Look like... Yeah. Here's some... Oh. There it goes. Alright. Remember guys, static wristband. 
Huh? You can handle it however you want to when you got one of these on. You're good. Disconnect it so you're not dragging your computer around. Alright. <clears throat> so don't don't be all cringy. You know what I mean? Don't, don't sit there and, and just like start crying and, and complaining. If you didn't see it, static wristband. There you go. <laughs> like you don't have to sit there and like, oh, I'm going to hold it by the heat sink and hold it at the corner. None of that matters. Case is grounded. Right? Case is grounded. You're grounded. No, no static electricity going anywhere. That's a piece of cardboard as far as I'm concerned. As long as it's not, you know, like dropped and on the corner or broken in like five pieces. <laughs> anyway, I I'm just remembering like old horrible memories. It's 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 fine. Totally fine. All right. Um, let's just get this going. Put it in this. Okay. So we're gonna put the motherboard in. And then, uh, heck, if I have to, like, build a mini, mini, like, setup thing just to have, um, oh, go in there. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's good. You know, I, I don't understand how this screw is so big. But at the same time, I don't have other screws. This is what came with the case. I can see why... Especially since this case has built-in stuff. It's just kind of weird. Hmm? What's up? Hey. <laughs> Gee, hey. I, that, that's, that's how... Yep, that's how I'm, I'm screwing you over, Chief. You didn't say gray, you said Gee, hey. Gee, hey to you too, sir. Jay to you too. Alright. Uh, jokes aside. You doing alright there, man? I mean, you know, you you're the one who decided to fool around and uh play around with uh with Kane, man. That was your fault. <laughs> that was your fault. Alright, so we'll do all the out and then we'll do on the inside. And then what I'll probably do is before I give this, he said he wanted to get rid of this drive cage, uh, filling it out. I'll take a look to see if it's worth doing. Because sometimes, even though you can drill these out, they're attached to a bunch of other things. Like the drill, ca the the cage for the drives could be where. Looks like it is actually. That would be horrible. Uh, let me see. Drill it out here. That's not cool. Yeah, you see, so I'm gonna show you guys this too. I'm gonna have to uh, not advise him. I mean, I got, I got, I have to literally tell him. Because uh, what's interesting is that even though with these cheap cases, this is a course. With these cheap cases, um, if you if they if they don't have a removable like drive bay and it's just sitting there, it's usually a uh, structural part. Like if you look at it. Uh, and I'll show you some motherboard in here. They they designed this in a way where um, you would have to cut it out. It looks like the yeah, you'd have to cut this out. This folds and then it folds into the where the frame of the, where the fan is. And there's a seam here, so you'd have to literally cut this entire thing out. And you won't. And if you don't cut it out and you try to just drill it out. You're not gonna have any spot to put your fans. So this is basically a case modification, like an actual case mod, not like a. Oh, I'm just gonna fool around and put like two things on here, call it a day. Nope. Real, real case mod. I would not recommend this, even just for the aesthetic. I probably, even though you got it for free, I mean you can cut it. But even then, you'd have to be really clean about it because. It's also attached to the side here, and it looks like it's also dealing with panel from rigidity. So, 9 out of 10 difficulty. Not worth, uh... Yeah, it's, it's, it's just the way that, that it's there, you know what I mean? Like, if you cut it from here, right? And you have to literally cut the rest of this to separate it from the, the, the fan one. 
like the actual fan grill or the support bracket for the fan and if you do that it's like interweaved like it's act look at that this is messed up it's also uh, attached to where the uh the main plate is for the motherboard so it's like cut it out but oh man too much of a pain and you can just buy another cake you know uh, but if everybody's wondering why i'm wearing the beanie because i don't have the fro anymore Ooh. I swear that that could have been a haiku. Yeah, bro is gone. And uh, it's gonna be about another two, three weeks before decent hair on. So, I, I gotta get comfortable with not having a fro. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize how warm my hair actually made it for me. Because, man, I was never cold under any circumstance. And this lack of hair, even though it doesn't seem like a lot, is no joke. Like, I just take my little beanie off and I start sneezing like crazy. Horrible. Alright, so the motherboard is in. Um, I'm not giving anything power. I'm going to make sure I keep the connector for that CPU bit from earlier. Um, awesome. What is this? What the heck are you? Oh, fan connector. Again, wrap. Got, always got to have your static wristband. It's annoying, it's lame, but hey man, I don't got to sit here and, and think about where my hands are anymore and I'm holding something. So just that piece of mind alone is good enough. As crude as I want to, machine won't. <laughs> All right, it has no feelings. Either way, um, come on, go in there, get in the bond. The there we go. Who is messaging me? Uh, I gotta mute Facebook. So many Facebook messages. I mute the. This mute this tab. Awesome. Great. <laughs> All right. So two connectors here. Let me let me just straighten this out a little bit. <clears throat> so I want to make sure everybody can see. Okay. I'll bring it in more. I'm gonna take the pipes and we're gonna bring it up here out of the way. We're gonna take these two connectors, plug them right here. Um, so before I do that, go. All right, take right one first. I swear it's a juggling act when it comes to dealing with this CPU power connector. Always has been for me. One would slide down, one would come back up. It wouldn't matter if I bent them every every which way. None of that mattered. All right. Luckily, this isn't like backwards. That would suck. <laughs> that would be horrendous. Backwards, where I'd have to like flip the cable upside down because I have no room for that. I'm gonna put this here and connect you in here. Got to do it one at a time. You. Better. Ooh, one, and give me the second one, one up the first, and let's get that satisfying click. All right, that's good. Then we'll uh, arrange this here. Move here. And better and this time we only need one so make it this one okay. 
Are you trying to do this on camera? Get it? So, no, a little difficult. First time doing it. Tell you right now, building the computer is not hard, but showing people how to build a computer a little bit more difficult. Uh, so, just going over everything from the scraps from the top in case you guys haven't uh, haven't been here for the whole thing. This is a client built. Uh, my homie uh, got a Ryzen 5800X. He picked up the Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. Um, he has a GTX 580. I kid you not. A GTX 580. Uh-huh. Um, he's using this in the interim until he gets a, a, a good... Uh, I think he, he said he wants a 3080 video card. Um, but of course, as we know, scalpers and everything else. So he's using what he has and commendable. I got it. I've done that before. Um, so he's literally using a 10 year old video card with like the latest processor. I'll, I'll be really interesting to find out what benchmarks look like with this thing. Like, I, I mean, can you imagine? I'm pretty sure nobody, you probably get world record scores on this just because I'm pretty sure nobody has done a setup with this and with that video card. That video card is 10 years old. Uh, somewhere up in chat, who, who was the one that said it? I think it was Leon posted the date that this thing was manufactured out of curiosity. Uh, I think it was November 20th, I think he said 2010, something like that. November 8th, uh, might be too far up, but yeah, somewhere around there. November 2010 is when this was manufactured and released. Um, all right, so originally the, none of the screws were actually, well, Originally, I thought there was a problem with this mainly because it was using like actual what looked like household screws, which they kind of are, but they, this case has built-in standoffs and I didn't realize that. Um, so I got really worried. Outside of that, the video card was in the second slot instead of the first. Um, we didn't have any power, so there was no 12-pin uh, connector or 8-pin. These weren't connected to the motherboard. It wasn't connected to the power supply. It was just in the box. Um, the uh, this the the SD card didn't have a standoff. It was connected by some this long this long weird screw right here. Like weird because I mean as you can see it's super thin, right? I have no idea what this is. And I'm looking at the at the threads and it looks like the threads have been stripped a bit. Um, whoops, <laughs> they've been stripped a bit. Hence the white. And uh, but yeah, that was on there. Um, so we had no power to CPU. Oh, the CPU cooler, the fan for the cooler was not connected to the CPU motherboard. The, the, it wasn't connected to the CPU fan uh, connector on the motherboard. Instead, it was connected to a regular fan, uh, chassis fan, and that also stopped it from running. And obviously we have no RAM, which I have one stick of because I'm using my own my own thing on uh, my own sticks. I'm using, I have two 32 gig sticks. So I'm using one 16 gig in this machine whenever I do get it hooked up. So we can at least see if we can get a picture on both. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can plug in my other monitor. Uh, I think I have an HDMI cord somewhere. We're going to make this work. If we have to jerry rig it, we're gonna make it work. But I, I, I'm gonna let you know before I even start. That setup is not really going to be clean. I'll probably just put this next to the thing over here and have a monitor and we'll see if we can get everything going. And then, you know, success. And then I'll call the homie and he comes to pick up his, his machine. Um, I got rid of the CPU thermal paste that was on here because it was trash. It was the original stuff. He's got some awesome Cooler Master high performance thermal paste. I also have some Noctua stuff just in case, but we're going to use his because he purchased this. Um, and this is good. Uh, everything else here is like just the video card and like the other connectors for the motherboard, and that's it. So standard. I'm just gonna keep going. You know, we're just taking our time. Uh, yes, he does need lights. Uh, we were talking about that, and he's looking at the Commander Pro. Um, I said that was a good idea, but he would need like the actual RGB strips or to switch out all of his fans for RGB fans. Which all of these are the main like mag fans or the main heavy duty fans that they put in for these coolers, and the two in the front are uh, high flow two forties. Yeah, they're high flow two forties, but they're all Corsair with the gray and black. So none of this is no RGB, which is nice in my opinion because you don't see these anymore. 
Um, and at the end of the day, if he's not going to use it like a right, like I don't know what new age PC builder streamer would use it, it's not going to be as a showpiece. It's just a workhorse. So I'm kind. It's it's really nice to be working on a system where the customer doesn't really care about RGB. He cares about performance. And outside of the fact that you know we are putting a 10 year old video card in here out of necessity, uh, he's still hunting and searching for a 3080. So that's I, I can give that a pass. What I'll probably do is I'm gonna put the thermal paste here and I'll probably re repaste that video card. Because let, let's be honest, you know, you know, let's think about this real quick, homie. We were talking about uh, thermal paste. Wanna see what 10 year old thermal paste look like? Cause I'm pretty sure this has never been changed. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's never been changed. 10 years, man, and the video card still works? What the heck? Like I'm, well, then again, I can't say anything. I still have an AGP card that works on my other machine. So, yeah, the rest of this is just going to be us chilling, talking about random stuff while I just put this together. Um, so if you guys got anything, let me know. He, I, I feel like he needs some lights, too. I, I don't know, man. Like, he doesn't have any. Like, I have, uh, I don't know. I, I kind of want it. Mm. I got some lights. I got some lights, man. I could just, I know. I, I got the, the Corsair like magnetic lights. I never, I used them on my machine, but you know, I haven't really put them back. You know what, let me see. Man, let, let me, let me see, let me see, let me see. It's gotta be lying around somewhere. Also, static wristband, disconnect the static wristband. <laughs> I don't know, like, like, like as a pro bono type thing? Uh, he, yeah, he probably just probably I'll talk about it. Um, I know I have. Found an HDMI port. I have a monitor on the floor. He needs a fan in the back. That one. I mean, yeah, yeah, we'll hook up. All right, I'll tell you what. This should be this should be a poll here. Can I do a poll? Let me see. I think it's a slash poll. It is. Okay, hold on. Poll question. Give them the hookup. I'm be real. I'm, I'm probably not gonna use it. Like it, it, it ha it's been out for a month already, and I know it works. It's great, but I'm probably not gonna use it. Let's see. Let's go. Oh, well, we got 10 people in here. Appreciate you guys dropping by. Um, let me drop a poll real quick. I'm gonna see if I can find what we need to find, man. If you guys see that uh, that poll I dropped up there, um, so this is a uh, this is a client build. Um, I didn't build this. I'm rebuilding it because it was a problem. He tried it. He tried it out, and um, basically, uh, 
it just wasn't there was some issues like it's not really super super serious it's just some some minor user errors you know like stuff that happens when you don't do this all the time you know like you, you forgot to plug in the the cable for the cpu drop the video card in the wrong spot stuff like that um what i've noticed is we don't really have any rgb in here and um i have some spare uh, rgb lights lying around and i noticed there's no rear fan and um i have a rear fan <laughs> I probably got one that'll match what he has in here, even though it's not RGB. So I was figuring, um, you know, maybe we could probably give the guy the hookup. I don't just like not say anything, just hobo, say nothing at all, and just kind of like drop it in there, see what happens. Hmm? Yo. <laughs> yeah, dude, sure. <clears throat> Where's the pole at, actually? I got one vote for the RGB in the rear fan. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let, let, let me see if I can find my RGB strips, man. Like I said, I know. Probably not gonna mess with them. Hey. Battlefield 3. Dude, I have not played Battlefield 3 since it came out. Um, I mean, like, Battlefield 3 would have been nice to give away, like, <coughs> five years ago. Alright? Five years? Five years. I don't think that was tough back then. Probably was, right? That's for a pretty sure. But we would have been playing it if it, if it was, uh... If it was... I don't even remember. Maybe 29th. Funny. All right, guys, how about this? I'll, um, I'm gonna pop into the Pop into Discord, and if you guys want to, uh, let's do that. Uh, let me see here. Let me find the waiting room in Discord real quick. Where is 
shouldn't have any problems. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm not listening to my stream either, so. We should be good. We lit, we live. Hi right, guys, um, hop into the server. I'm gonna be in um, the live room. If you guys are interested in, yeah, Juju. <sighs> Oof. <laughs> Couple people that popped in actually. Oh yeah. Whoa, thirty-two way SLI with voodoo cards, dude. Yeah, if you don't see the, the general chat, you should see the general chat. It, it's it's under general text channel. <laughs> um, but the video, I'm actually I'm on. I have it set to live on Twitch, so. What you would need to do is pop into the waiting room and then I can just drop you in. You should see it at the top. Yeah, Leon is in here. Like I know for a fact he's in here. He's been in here, you know what I mean? Like Leon's been in the Discord for like years and doesn't even know it. Yeah, I see you, uh, but I need you to be in the waiting room. So if you look at the very top, you're gonna see live on Twitch and you're gonna see a waiting room underneath it or just pop into any other voice channel, Chief. And I can drag you in here, Mr. Cactus. Mr. Cactus. I will drag you in here myself. Mm -hmm. Getting on your mind. I don't know, dude. Uh. Audio stream, we good? Let me monitor this myself. I see is notifications yo Leon if that's all you see what you want to do is go back into the go back into uh, server go to welcome rules and access and then hit the the thumbs up on rules and access because if you don't have that you're not gonna see anything else you want to make sure you hit that thumbs up icon Cause I'm looking around, I don't actually see you have a role anymore, so I'm assuming... Oh, you're a Twitch sub though, hold on. Yeah, okay, that's what the problem was. There, you can see now, right? See. Yeah, you should be good. Um, I just gave it to you anyway, cause for whatever reason, you didn't have the basic...
we found the back. Stack of old fans. Forty mil a long time ago. So when I did that, all of my one twenty mil. So we got the back rear fan. Let's make sure this will fit and it's not a 120 spot. Cool. Exit fan here. Boom, boom, boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Um, let's take the wiring. Perfect. I had, oh, I had a ohms, yeah. All right, so we got the rear fan. We're gonna find um, four fan screws. I know I have them lying around. My little tool kits. See, this is like the problem that happens. Like, you know, the, the usual small have for everything just isn't here. It's not that it's not nice to have been clean. You weren't able to move it. Um, uh, So for right now, I guess we don't have any don't have any specific areas that I can just drop that. In. So this whole thing that I I had it, I remember exactly where it was at. Really. More people here. <laughs> I 
Hey Loki. Uh, yeah, it's always when you need to like figure out. That's when you want to do something. your issue. Remember why certain things are the way they are. Like I have all this stuff. I don't know where my thing is. Used everything for it. Save that. You know what? Let me check this box here. It's all I got left. Like it just makes no sense. Is the music playing? Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm here, just, you know, the mic being the mic. <laughs> I'm actually looking for a couple of supposed to have lines. Uh, doesn't seem like that's the case. So, I'm going to check to see real quick. It says we're good. If Right. Kind of where I'm at. It, it's just like that. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I've had it. All this stuff is cool. Like this, then it becomes, hey, so uh, yeah, I have no idea where I moved that. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to just like, damn, unless room's clean, you can and this one. Oh man, I got. So I thought this would be it. Definitely not. Put all this stuff back. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. Everything back in here. Let's see what we can do with getting. I'm still at that. Oh, that's what it's eat yet. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what my brain's all. Yeah, no, I didn't. Is gonna be check because that's all. See if it's still. In. I. This this RGB rescue mission. Like we're trying to trying to see if we can get homie set up with some RGB in, in his rig with a 5800X and an E-Force PTX 580. I didn't believe what. Oh, come on. All right. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll let you tell your story, Loki. I'll let you tell your story. <laughs> I'm going to 
up a little bit, and we're going to see where bit is I gotta find my magnetic tray real quick. It should be over here. Today has served its purpose. So 14 years ago, I made my, my second computer. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. <laughs> 14 years ago, I made my second computer, and I put these four, I'm oh, sorry, these four fan screws in a very small spot on, the, in, on that desk in a drawer, just in case I ran into another situation where I didn't have fan screws. And it's paid off today. <laughs> it's paid off today. So what we're gonna do, as soon as I get the screwdriver, hello, is we're gonna install my homie's new fan because he probably didn't see it coming. <clears throat> uh, uh, you better stop. <laughs> All right, so plug this in and now we get to screw this in here all the force in the world oh no I have to have it this way because I need to plug it into ah, so that's chat one um I swear man like that's funny right 14 years ago I can't even joke about how long ago that was. like like someone needs to like look up Oh, cool, man. Dude, stream it. You're going to be building a new gaming chair? Heck yeah. Stream the gaming chair. I want to see it. See it before you sit down. Yo, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The gaming chair you got was the Cougar gaming chair. It was like the elite of the elite of the elite of the elite of the elite. Who them reflexes, boys. Them reflexes. Oh, man. You got to give me, you got to give me some props for that one. <laughs> I was screwing it. I didn't see it. I, I swear to I swear to you. It was just reflexes on that one, man. Dude, clip that. Clip it. <laughs> but um <clears throat> Yeah. I ain't appreciate it. The catch of the century. <laughs> now it would have been pretty bad because of where it was at. I still can't believe that these screws I've had here for like that long. I, had them, I literally had them for that. They're uh, up here in the corner. They're actually going to be used in someone else's. It's like past me. It's something for future me. Without realizing. Pretty 
screwdriver just keeps wanting to pick itself. Looks like it's gonna come over here. I don't want none of this. Don't want none. So at least we got him a rear fan, and even though it's all gray and stuff, it matches everything. It's the same brand, and it's also the same, same, same style as the front ones. Oh man, dude, his front one is broken. The uh, the front fan is broken. It's missing a blade. Shoot, lucky buddy, lucky. I have another one, man. Wow. Okay, it's missing a blade on the front fan. <laughs> it's gonna be funny writing this invoice up and just being like, Nah, dude. You know, owe me lunch or some shit. I don't know. I wish I could say that. I'm not in the steak. Fifty bucks would be nice. even twenty. I don't even know. Um, I'm I'm lucky. I'm glad that I, I took a look at this because I would have missed it. Check it. Wait, You're here. All right, check it. First time I've seen this actually. See that broken blade. So glad I caught that. I would not have caught that if I wasn't installing the back one. I wouldn't have caught it. To be honest, those fans I got, they've just been sitting there really. Changing his front fans too. That broken blade will knock it. Yeah, I know, man. Um, I got a. Uh, got some spares, man. Dropping some spares for. Him. Won't be complete RGB, but hell, it's still uh, still RGB. It's white at least. It's not red, green, blue, but it's white. So. Be all right. Just gonna clean this up in a while. In a while. That's better. Than that. I mean, like I, I feel bad, like just dropping another blade in there and it be a mess or something. You know what I mean? But I don't have one of three in the back. I have the two up here. At least it'll match. Yeah, right? Look at all this lighting that came in since we started. Um, I think these things are in the back. Set up. I need to find my RGB. I really want to throw it in here because I'm not going to use it. I had them for a couple of years. Full and all, but I didn't really make to the RGB lights I haven't and then I really didn't like using Corsairs he ends up having a Corsair build in general It'd be a good way to get it because I don't think they sell them anymore separately oh um this what time is it Hey Google, what time is it? It's three fifty-seven p.m. Oh, okay, 
Oh, what is it? Two hours? Two hours flat. Customize. I don't know, man. Like the custom cooling loops are all right. They ain't the greatest. Like it's it's just it's good. It's just a lot of work in between. Yeah, it's almost four. Might take an intermission for a few minutes. So we'll get like a donut or something. Oh, girlfriend hit me up. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> um. All right, so we're good. Look at that brand new fan. So nice, shiny, and clean. All right, so there. Put it on that end. And clean this one for not blowing this out. Let's Yeah, we're just uh I'm just cleaning this fan up. You know what? When when it's done it'll be Uh, Leon, uh, man, what's the temperature up in here, man? Like, uh, I think last time I checked it was like 21 Fahrenheit. Hey, Google, what's 21 Fahrenheit in Celsius? 21 degrees Fahrenheit is equivalent to minus 6.111 degrees ah, Celsius. Minus 6. Negative 6. It's negative 6 here. Right? What, what, how cold you said it was going to be, man, on your end? Before you hit the negative 50? How cold did you say it was? What's it for? Negative five? We're beating you. We're beating you by negative one degree. <laughs> so there. Yeah, I think you said it was negative five right now. All right, so th this was out of a bill that I built, I think, 2813. My part in wait. I don't even make these anymore. They don't make them in single color. Ooh, they're gonna probably cost. Oh, dude, that's pretty cool. At least you have a water, like a body, a major body of water to say that you live, live uh, here. That's pretty awesome. Oh, boy. This is pretty clean. We got. Um, need to find. All right, this is bothering me. I gotta find those RGB chips for. Me. No, this. I need to find my. Okay, so um, everything's pretty much done. Um, just have to plug everything back in, stop the thermal paste on here. Uh, but what we're doing is um, I'm trying to find my, noticed a few minutes ago that this blade is broken. Okay, it's coming out. Nice, this one can do it for fun. Yay, no work. From the front, from the front. All right, so uh, we're gonna 
I'm gonna get this out of here real quick. And homie doesn't have any RGB and I can't find money. Is up in these two white fans in here. Um fun fact, this is a fifty hundred fifty eight hundred CPU brand new rank seven five thousand degrees uh processor. Everybody's hunting for it. But never guess the video card. ETX. Now Video card because it works, you know. At that point, you got to give it some credit, man. It, you know, you not you not even look. You just want to know can the display turn on? Because <laughs> we're talking about a ten year ten year old video. Uh, but this is toast, man's toast. Mark that on the quote invoice. Oh man, oh man, this is so bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna hold it from like right here and spin it. See if, if it'll it'll wobble the way. Yeah, look at that. It's wobbling like crazy. So I mean, it's gonna it's supposed to, right? It's not even. But if you ever wanted to argue with somebody about whether this was uh, if the down or installed, that that whole motion of it. Moving up and happening because it's it's crazy. Glad that that we caught this. All right, so that's trash. Um, okay, with this one, you just the same. Also has the back screws. Um, no real dust in this thing. Another. Okay. <laughs> All right, so the fans are gone. We're gonna give that to them. Um, I'm gonna take another look and see if I can find. Let's make sure everything here is. Um, a strip. If I can, then I'll be more happy and satisfied. Because honestly, that's the only reason why we're still dealing with it because the unit itself is really hard to work on. Uh, Let me change the mic to what I have on here. Quality is going to go down, but you should at least be able to hear me consistently. That's much better. All right. So um, I think it. I think it might be in this case. I'm not 100 percent sure. It might be though. So we're going to check in here. Oh yeah, music's still playing. Okay. Um, No, it's not. Wow. That is surprising. Nope, it's not in the case. Wow. Okay. Um, I don't know where it, now I have no idea where it could be. No clue. Um, you know what? So this is what I, I'm looking for. I should have put it back in the box. That would have been smart. But this is the Lightning Pro node. Why is this so heavy? Did I put it back in the box? I never do. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I did. Oh, these are just other cables. I didn't put it back. Okay. Um, all right. I'm gonna check it out. Give me a second, peeps. We're gonna see what's up. Cause I, I think 
I think I have it. I'm pretty sure I have it. I'm going to check one more spot. Oops. And we're going to look for them real quick. And I'll be right back. So give me just a few seconds, guys. Be right back. You're horrible, Mr. Cactus. You're horrible. I didn't even leave yet. I'm working on something. Like, there it is. Time's up. Huh. Funny. All right. Give me just a second, Chief. Let me, uh... And my old logo. <laughs> it's been so long. Um, I'll be right back. We're gonna. Um, I'm gonna go see if I can find this real quick because I think I think if it's not here, it might be downstairs somehow. Um, but we'll see. Be right back. Meantime, you guys jam out. Some music, real quick.
That's not cool, man. The music's not on. What in the world? Uh, yeah, I can't even hear it. Hold on. Uh, let's go back to the right scene. Uh, yeah, it's not on. What in the world? Properties. Come on. Best off. Mm. Oh, he's got to have an audio issue, man. That's not cool. Let's see. Cool. Yeah. Audio problems. Oh, my God. I'm so done. Come on, uh, desktop audio. I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. I don't know. Properties. <clears throat> desktop audio should just put it on default. The microphone itself. Okay, we're good. I think that fixed it. Let me see. Good. All right. We lost people. It's okay. We weather through the storm together. And I appreciate every single one. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Mm. This is the trashy. Okay, let's go back. Let's knock this out. So I've determined that I do not have what I would specifically need to be able to accommodate. This is it. Is this way? Here. All right. Bruce. Only need four. How many? Six. Two. Four. So, oh, pop this in here. Put this in here. Perfect. All right, replacing home these little thing here. Mm -hmm. What I'll probably do is whenever the heck. So now I think about it, there's another guy I gotta help out too. Make sure I send him a message. In that bag. Let me check this bag real quick. We might have some. He did not even know it. Yeah, look at that. We got some more right here. Okay. Alright, let's see how. Oh. Alright. Not threaded all the way. Makes sense. Yeah, but they should be the same length. Ooh. Fit though. Wanna make sure. Push this back a little so you can see. Alright, you're not really gonna be able to see this one. I'm doing the bottom fan, so. Nothing too serious. Fan's not moving anywhere. It is secured. That 
Second one. Again, we're gonna pop it into the side right here. Channel for the fan. Alright. Cool. And we throw it in here. Leave. See like it goes. No. This was I love Pilot. Pilot makes good. Oh, so this is a different one. Sigil, 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 got Ram and here, so. Works. It's cool. And here, here. Yeah, that's what happened, okay. A. Very good. Good. Got the ram and and he is outside, god damn it. <laughs> Alright, let me get my coat. So, homie brought in his RAM. Go out there, be all COVID like. And uh, suit up. Pick up that RAM. <clears throat> all right. Okay.
Okay. Man. Oh well. I'm back. And now we have Ram. Thanks, courtesy of the guy that is obviously, you know, at this thing. He had to he had to get Ram for it. <laughs> Alright, so let's drop the coat so we're not in here sweating our um uh, Guy got the ram. Ram's in the house. All right, let's take this out. Eh. Woo. Man. All right. Uh, I, I, you know what? I'm just a little, a little, a little parched. I want my, my little milky and chocolate doni. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so as I was telling him, uh, I'm not really worried about this thing coming on at all. Not my biggest concern. Most of the stuff that we're dealing with was just unit itself. You know, making sure the fans are in there, making sure they run, nothing's plugged in incorrectly, power's good, um, that kind of thing. But it's gonna be pretty sweet regardless. Hmm. You're eating? You're working on the computer? Leave your ground link strap on. <laughs> Leave it on. Outside of that, how's everybody doing? Just take a second. Go for a bit. Stop. All right. <clears throat> Good stuff, man. Yo, in here, man. Can't get a roll call, thunder call, none of that. So, we got all the hard stuff knocked out. Um, CPU's in there, motherboards. In there. We got new fans all around. Wiring's pretty much done. <clears throat> Let's just finish this up. Um. Just make sure this is here. Mm -mm. All the thermal paste stuff. <clears throat> Worry about thermal paste later. Motherboard connector in. USB 3 for the front headers. And SATA 1's up top. Yep. 
All right. We go to the fun stuff down here. The this front panel. Like having my front pair. Skinnies. They don't pull that kind of tension at the rest of them. This one's your hard drive activity light. <clears throat> you know what? Do not come with an extension for the. <laughs> nah, man. You're doing this raw, man. You don't get none of that. You want help? Excuse me? You asking for help? That's nowhere all this stuff goes. Alright, so this is the classic uh putting all the tiny tiny pins together. <clears throat> Other boy in the front. Fine. A six up point. And you break something as an official. Probably not distracted by. Grounding strap, left hand, not your lead hand. That's grounded, your whole body's grounded, you're fine. Always make sure that you keep enough slack between you, your hand, and your PC. You gotta get more light on this. Get a more direct because it's like they guide for this. So you won't be able to see this. I apologize. I'm just sticking with a little. Responsible for like the hard drive light, power LED, uh, the switch, reset switch. What? Um, if you have your board out and you're doing this for the first time, I'd highly recommend checking your manual because it shows you specifically where they go on that uh, for your board. Um, power light. Which this is good. Power LED up top. It's the hold them. Switch. Oh. Easily. Case. Um, that's like all the hard stuff. What was this? This was important. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the. This goes to the video card. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Like, why is this sticking out? All right, this is the HD audio. USB connection for the HD. Uh, it sets it so it, it recognizes the onboard DAC and the speakers connect. But it's supposed to have a specific spot that. A amplified audio front panel, maybe? maybe that's what AAFP is mean. 
Take a guess and say that's what that means. A A. Taking a guess on. Uh, it, <laughs> it's I already know it's HD audio. It's just every manufacturer. Then you have your front USB. Alright, now we look at everything else and we're kind of done. Like, there isn't really anything else here that I could... Um... The only thing we really got left is just messing with the... the actual cooler itself. Just that. Making sure all the fans and stuff are connected properly. Uh, this cooler though, like, kind of weird. I'm gonna assume. Um, everything else is already neatly done. Let's check the back real quick, just to make sure that we're not getting snuffed. Um, nice some small wire man. It. Oh, go number two when you got a grip fan. You always have it on the side, breaking up. Plug it in. I have it. I'm now working on this side of the case. I have it on this side because it's closest to here. That gives me the slack to hold it and move it around. So the hand that I'm going to be using to move, excuse me, to move the PC around is going to be the same one that is mainly attached to the case. This is going to be your support hand. Okay, that's what I like to call it, your support hand. Um, let's angle this up. Perfect. Okay, um, these are all the front panel connector stuff. I had zip ties. I'm running out, man. I would have just doo -doo -doo -doo, probably like this. Yeah, exactly how I would. have the two fan connectors. Uh, don't really have a home yet. Signed a home. Give it. Um, I think I might. Yeah, I'd. This is a really nice, nice one. Wind up. See, get ready. Alright, so pop here, round, right. Honestly, they weigh with one. Mm. Get a nice little. So you know what? Looks like I'm wire this properly. Fuck it from the motherboard. Right? Hooked. Um That's how that is. Patches first at the top and in the center. Case. So got Alright, we're gonna see if uh
So, when you're building a computer for yourself, you normally take this kind of time. But mainly, I'm not gonna lie, kind of doing it this way, because, you know, we're streaming. There's any specifics that you want to go over, it's good to, like, take your time, go slow, make sure that you, uh, touched on everything you wanted to touch on. Because when you leave everything to routine, you tend to be very quick and methodical, but everything is done like a preset. You know what I mean? So in this particular case, um, I normally have done this a little differently. Um, but... I've done it a little differently. Nothing bad about how I did it. Honestly, I wasn't in front of the camera. I wasn't talking to you guys, whether you're here or not. I had 10 people at some point. I only got two. Leaving me in a tab to open somewhere. Appreciate you, homie. <laughs> um, I, uh, you know. And to just do stuff very quickly because you're so used to doing it and getting it done. I learned a couple things. The 32 way SLI, uh, Voodoo card, crazy, crazy setup that the one guy popped in the chat. Uh, Bray Tech, I think it was. Um, hopefully, we can see him around. Usually you want to make sure all your make sure all your, your eyes are off. Just certain playing with. Oh wow, oh this is the same, this is <laughs> I messed up. So small. Sounds small. Uh. Back to this. This one. And it goes. I'm putting a lot of care in installing this particular zip tie. Really, really fun to snap up. But you have to be very careful. Super fun. Uh, so now, nice little. Oh, hey. How you doing? Oh, okay, man. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, let me see what's up with this noise gate thing. Can you see, man, the student has become the master. 
Now, mine is probably just more for the fact that the mic is here. I'm trying to just get it so it's out of view or in view and still doing the same thing. Hmm? Probably. It's directional, so it makes sense. Um, just kind of sucks because I don't really have a way of like conveying that unless I, I don't know what, like right here maybe? And try not to hit the mic. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, this is just a uh, client's build. Kind of neat. He's checking it out on Twitch. I was just like, well, I could do some stuff on the side, so I might as well have a little bit of fun in the meantime. Cool, cool. Uh, I really get like a tiny sock for that. Like, there's no point in using the styrofoam bits that they usually give you. Nice seeing you, Supermodel Gamer. You know, you're out there, out there like laying waste to them, them view counts and stuff, man. I see, I sees you. You know, you, you're getting, getting streamed on by Bethesda and raided and stuff. Bethesda raided you in the middle of it. Man, I'm all super happy for you, really. It's awesome. I'm proud, because like, you know, <laughs> the first couple of streams when it was like, Oh man, this is no joke, man. Wow, this is amazing. And I only got like 12 people watching me. And I'm like, that's a lot of people. What do you mean you only got 12? <laughs> oh man. One time, the before four times, right? That's, that's what you call it, the before four times. Um. He could have technically put the SSD here. It's fine. There's no problem. There is no problem in. There is no problem in passing. Say. Passing. Say there is no war. Oh, from the uh, the new Doom game. Well, I mean, is it still new? It's not really new anymore, is it? Uh, but yeah, I know what you're talking. I saw you. Uh, I saw you play that the other day, or like when you started it or loaded it up or whatever, and you were just like, "What is this? Oh my god, everything is so evil and disgusting and le like just I don't know. I over exaggerate a lot. <sighs> I gotta unhook this. They just dropped a new master level this week, so it's basically like like what they call in Destiny too, which would have play is uh they call it the night raid. No 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 the nightfall. Uh, it's an old level they re-imaged, imagined. So like, so that, is that like from like the OG Doom? Like that'd be cool if it was OG Doom. And they decided to like remaster it for, uh, Doom Eternal, right? Yeah. If I had to guess, like I would probably do something from Doom too. All right, so this is actually pretty nice. We're going to use Chassis Fan 2 and 3 for this. Um... So he's going down here at the bottom, and now look at that. Everything's all nice, neat, and organized and stuff. And then who is going to go over here at the bottom? Again, nice, neat, and organized. Um, and the only thing we really have that's like somewhat sticking out is just the wires here. Actually, you know what? I I'm going to put him through the grommets. I'll give him the chance, man. I'll put him through the grommets. It's eternal, but they actually have old levels in the game at Doom Play, Doom Guy's computer. Oh, that's pretty funny. And I definitely need to get back into Destiny 2. Like, I didn't know you played in general. That would be awesome. Because uh, my one of my friends, she is really involved with Destiny. And, like, I used to... I, used, I literally... I played Destiny since its first alpha on the PS3. So, it was one of those games that I was like, Yes, I finally have an MMO to play. Um, before I, like, I actually got into consoles and stuff. So I really resonated with the game, um, and it was one of the first games that I actually got like a closed alpha accepted invite into, so it was one of those like, oh my gosh, I'm special, holy crap, you know what I mean, that kind of thing. You know, I, I was little, so yeah. Uh, a three year one drop player, what, three guardian year one drop player, Peter Dinklage OG in the house, yes! Yes, you you know no no. <laughs> I got it back in fourteen, man. I got it back in four. You know what? 
It's like everybody forgets the Queen's Raid. Like, you know, everyone's like, oh my god, Iron Banner. I'm like, do you not remember the Queen's Raid? Like, like the first week, if you played it like when it first came out, the Queen had her own raid, but it was set up almost... It's what it was called. It was called the Queen's Raid, but it was set up where you had special Queen gear in the first Destiny 1, and it was like this awesome violet, purple, blue thing, and you couldn't get it after that at all. And it was basically Iron Banner, but for the Queen. And then they killed her. <laughs> Spoiler alert! <laughs> um, so yeah, I got to drop two. Streaming in 2015, kept playing, but didn't keep streaming. I honestly, like this account is old. And I didn't start streaming till like two years ago. And I should have, because I, I would have been in a much better position considering the age and how long I've actually would have been streaming overall. So I feel you there. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Back when the G, the Gallahorn, yes. <laughs> yo, 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 don't even get me started. Yo, I got the Gallahorn on uh, one solid, solitary tier. Wholesome. Well, you know, you're gonna make me print out like a mini version of the Gallahorn. That Gallahorn was amazing. Um, the Vex Method class, I got that and the Gallahorn. And I picked up, uh, I picked up both of those weapons the first time I went through the raid. The first time I went through Vault of Glass. And this is before the guy that had three characters reached level 30. Um, and it made the news. This was before that. So like literally, we were going through the Volta Glass when it was first came out, when everybody else was going through the Volta Glass. And if you don't know what I'm talking about here, it's fine. It's like totally nerded out on Destiny 1 lore and Destiny 2. The Gallahorn was one of the most wicked freaking rocket launchers ever. Um, it's really called the Yallerhorn. Like everybody just says Gallahorn, call it a day. Because it available to everyone, I spent hundreds of hours in that first year. Next boyfriend got it and played half as much. Yo, like I'm, I'm being 100% here. Um, Gallahorn was just one of those weapons, man. Like you couldn't, like, you know what was worse? Vex, the Vex Mythic class was worse because that gun was a pulse rifle that had almost, I mean, it was like unlimited range. Like if you got within the range of that gun and they fired it once, they didn't even have to aim down at you. You just died. And if someone was next to you, they died too. <laughs> like that was amazing um one of the worst weapons ever in my opinion was the thorn because that was a hand cannon uh and that gun was a hand cannon from hell because if you were able to run away from the person like you know like you timed your jumps you got everything set up and you ran away you would still die because that thing would shoot you once and then trail a poison that, that continuously damaged your health until you died like it was just, it was just wasn't cool. All kinds of not cool. The best broken gun I had was the Red Death. I freaking love the Red Death. It was an auto rifle where if you got shot by the Red Death, you, it stole the enemy's health as it was shooting. So it killed, it literally, like you were already dying. And then there was a high, high capacity rounds. And then if you got like Wolf, Pack of the Wolf, you could like super that and stack all these abilities up. And it got to a point where that gun was just broken. Like, it was it was broken. That was it. You know? The Red Death was amazing. Yes, so many times. Because it was it was kinda like You see, it stole their health as it was as it was killing them, it was healing you. So you 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 could be getting like in a fight with three guys and they're like like bum rushing you. And um out of the blue, you know, just Trying to take you out. Man, this looks a lot better than when he <laughs> when it came into my house. Jeez. Um. All right, let's let's grab this real quick before I, I continue talking about Destiny One stuff. Um. Oh no. Got a, a random plasticky. Just ran off. All right, let's turn this back around. Yep. Yo, I'm gonna tell you something. Worse than that was the horrible rates that you actually got weapons in Destiny 1. One of the worst things that ever happened in Destiny 1 to me 
I hated this glitch until they fixed it. And I think it was one of the longest freaking glitches it took them to fix. The every time you died, you lost all of your heavy ammo. Every single time. Didn't matter what you were doing, didn't matter what happened. You just lost your heavy ammo. Like it, it, it would just disappear. It'd be like, yo, that was a nice run. Like, <laughs> I'm glad. No worries. No worries. This, you know, it, it was, I don't know. It was cool. I like Destiny. Um, let me see real quick here. I need this. It needs to go up here. Here it needs to go up here. We're gonna twist this right here. This stays in here. This is the fans for the new thing. Uh, this should be connected. It's not connected. So this is does this has no power? Oh no no no. Okay okay. This is connected directly to the power supply. You plug in the connector here. Then you plug in. Um, plug this here. We're pretty much set. Heck yeah. Early years. Co-stream. How are we gonna co-stream a PC build? Like like I mean maybe. Like if I if I was to show up one of these days, it'd be pretty cool. Oh, I gotta turn that on. Man, you see, now I need your help with my bots. <laughs> I spent too many months not doing anything. <clears throat> Um, yeah, you can get me on the up and up, you know, you teach me. I teach you the whole, the whole Barney song. Just, just for Twitch streamers. Um, uh, oh, here it is. Commentator. Oh, heck yeah. I got you. No worries. Okay. We all have you. It's okay, supermodel gamer. You are a supermodel. <laughs> supermodel gamer. <laughs> I don't know. If I if I ever wanted to like kickstart my freaking voice acting career, I'd probably do it doing voice intros. Um All right, let's drop this in back. I'm gonna have to have it. I squeeze you back in here. You gonna let me squeeze you back in here? Is that a no? I think that's a no. It sounds like it's a no. <laughs> All right, let's get this 580. Um, you know, I could, but I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna repaste this. This is one of those where we could easily open this up, and whatever magical bullshit that is holding this 10-year-old graphics card together, I'm just gonna leave it because I don't know. I'm gonna leave it because if it works it works no worries oh man we have one HDMI port and two DVI D ports two DVI ports one HDMI and the HDMI don't even have like its own slot it literally looks like it's just chilling over there just barely chilling actually that's not a is that not an HDMI cord hold on is that mini HDMI were they that mean did they, they literally give this poor guy? Wow. Wow. That is micro HDMI on a video card. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is 10 years old. Man, I'm gonna have to drop one of my cards in here just to just to save me the trouble. Uh, but for now, we're gonna put this in here. Um, and then we'll test it, make sure everything's working. There we go. Where is the those one single solitary screw to hold my man's in here? I need my blue screwdriver. Hello, blue screwdriver. Okay, and now we just neatly, and I mean very, very neatly, we're gonna stitch up and put in these nice little, little connectors here. For the
Okay, so uh, one thing we got in between all of this was uh, gotta plug this in. Okay. 24 pin motherboard connector. There you go. All right, good, good. That's in there. Everything's in here now. And it looks all nice, neat, and clean. It's all like it's all done properly. I don't worry about nothing. We got two new, three new fans, all new fans and shit. Um, we just need the RAM sticks. This is this uh, CPU stuff. We're gonna drop the new RAM sticks in here. We're gonna be very careful about it. So this is first DDR stick. Ah. Oh, maybe. Lift up the little back the pieces. Put them to the back of the case. Got our two satisfying. All right, move on to the second one. The same exact thing. We're gonna go back again. Here. Gotta make sure you put them in the same colored slots. Uh, cause this is always gonna be dual channel memory. Unless otherwise stated by the manufacturer of your CPU. Um, you never stick them directly next to each other. You put one in the other, well, you put them in the other slot. Um, I can actually show that. You stagger them, I guess. That would be the proper term of using. Um, alright, so. What I was talking about was the RAM sticks. Oof. The RAM sticks right here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Audio all over the place. Come on. Alright. Stagger them. Don't stack them next to each other. Each one of these slots is a specific color. One's usually black, the other one's gray. If you have uh, two sticks, you can put one in each. Uh, so if you put them in black, you put them in both the black slots. You put them in gray, you put them in both the gray slots. It's going to work regardless. That's just so that you get your speed that you're supposed to get. Because those slots that are the same color run in parallel. And they're, uh, they're linked up with each other. And when they realize that there's two sticks, they, uh, they actively apply the speed to the sticks that's required um, or set by the manufacturer. All right, so we got all the hard stuff knocked out. Do a final check up here. Because um, really, the only thing I really got to do is just close up all the other stuff here because we're knocked out. Uh, we're looking at the, the hard drive down there at the bottom. And you see right here, uh, Oz SSD. Has its um, has its um, sled. It has the uh, the SATA connector, the power connector. Um, you have the power connector for video card. All of the power that's running for the PC. Have the two CPU connectors up. Three fans, all of them are plugged in. You know. All I have left to do is. We have all the screws. Missing two, but that's okay. Um, we have the CPU cooler block. I have to get thermal paste and put it in the center. All this to make sure that these wires are placed properly. This cable here is going to go into the CPU fan. The rest of them are going to go around the back, probably right above where this is. Um, connectors up here. It's this one on the far left. And then we're going to make sure that we get the three fans that are running from the cooler up top and plug them into the three things back here. Can we tie everything up? Press the power button. We out of here. That's it. <laughs> Sounds like a lot. It ain't going to take that long. Um, so first things first, let's get this thermal compact then on. And uh, <clears throat> Oh, this is the HTK002. This is good stuff. Um, open it. Let's see. Oh, all right, cool, cool. All right, we're all right. A little, little, little bit of muscle power there, you know? Got a lot, I got a little bit though. Mm. We have, uh, oh man, the old school methods. All right, all right, I seize you, I seize you. 
Look at that. They give you Cooler Master still after all these years giving you a card. Wait, there's an indicator for the What is this? What is this? A sticker? This is a Wow. Wow, look at that. That is funny. So they give you an AMD and an Intel socket. A sticker applicator. Can't see it. Hold on. They give you these stickers that you place on your your CPU, and then you you get your applicator card. And this is this is how how real they are about this. But you pop it in on that, and then you just you squirt it wherever, and you just go floop. I guess that's uh that's how you get your clean heat of uh, clean even sheet uh, thermal compound. So, I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> Don't need to. Um, I prefer. Okay, so we're gonna move all this stuff aside. Want to face down because of the nature. Place the compound on the CPU. I can't show you guys this. Got this to do it. Only like the. This stuff's really good. Like that was like no effort. Um. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna plug this in. We plug it in. Hand over here. While it's down. this one till that's on there that's on there properly we're good and nothing to worry about right now and all we got left is the, the hard part <laughs> which is just uh, we're just gonna install cooler um, hold on. I, I gotta keep reminding myself I'm not working on it as I normally am I gotta, I gotta work on it this way so you guys can see but all right, the new thermal paste applied. RAM's good. Everything's good. Neat. A um, little bit of a, not really a mess, but makes sense, you know. Back is my bottom. Of it. I'll do some more management later. He's right here. Three fans. Here. We have the power connector for the pump. I'm gonna split that up and put this in through here. In the back, there's a little slot right here. Slot right there, it's gonna go in there. Make sure. Out of the way of the. All that matters. Connector. And. Now. It's okay to have a little slack up here, that's fine. Um, you also want 
connected over and around so it's not not connected. It's okay to get some slack, but as you can see, it's not touching the. There's anyway, there's a lot of clearance between the, the bottom of the fan and the actual. Um, so now what we do, hold back here. Again, I gotta keep reminding myself. Take this off. As you're moving to the back, you flip the computer around. Because again, you need to see what you're doing, right? So you flip it around, come back here. If you're on stream, you caddy corner it. So it's, now everybody can see what's going on. Then you make sure that your, your connector is gonna go on the hand you're not, you're not dominant on, right? So, cause you're gonna move it less, you know, use it to support holding. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, happening oh so, I'm gonna leave that there I'm always gonna have my hand on the case I lean on that case while I work on it because one thing I don't want in any circumstance is I don't want that case to fall well all right so this was nice to do um, what he did is let me see who here we have one more here uh, and actually at that point I would just wrap it up so yeah let's do it that way we're gonna do one we're gonna do two here and then the third fans gonna be over here pretty sure judging by how this is set up this long one is probably one and we're gonna make so one, All right, so the hardest wire to try to like manage per se is the CPU cable because there isn't really a lot to, to stick. Oh, wait a minute! These guys thought ahead. <laughs> they put a they put two slots for it. They were like, "Hey, don't worry about it, man. We know for a fact that nobody likes to put little uh, little loops right there where that CPU cable is." We got you, got you, you're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually all right, this will I think I can get it with this. You know, the dollar store zip tie. Guess what? They still zip and they tie. You know what I mean? You got no problems. Still zip and tie. <laughs> all right, so. Um, being very careful here. Awesome. Pull this down. Make sure to straighten that out. Two should be yup. One right down here. It just like really does well for the OCD. I swear, it's awesome. Um, one thing that's that's actually out and. Loose is just the uh, fan connectors, and that's just because one being held by a, a bread tie, basically. Slacked it. Alright, that's not bad. The cutters. Wheat. Crash. Ooh. Score. <laughs> Alright. Um, hey Google. Uh white light. Alright, changing two lights. Awesome. So I, I was using that for some effects because but heck man, the sun's going. What time is it? I mean, this can, hey, look, I've only been up for three hours. What the heck? Is it like four? That's five. Wow. That's surprising. Um, all right. Well, we'll just keep having a little bit of fun, man. That's all. That's all we're doing. We're having fun. Like, if this was super serious, I would probably would have had this done in 40 minutes. But, you know, we're having fun. 
guys want to talk to me, you can talk. I'm a human. I promise I'm not a robot. <laughs> I am not a robot. Not a robot at all. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Uh, I don't know. Is there really a way to make this neat? Let's take this off. Let's see. You got this fan. You got this fan. These aren't really. No, not really. You know what? Can I buy this? I can. Let's just put it through the middle. Ooh, it just took a finger. Awesome. Much better. So at least at least they're all coming from the same spot. The connector and the wires. So um that point. This is the other fan. What fan is this? Alright, let's let's move you to the middle too. That way everything's coming in from the same spot. I don't gotta worry about the extra. Wire management. The loom. Uh, we got a couple. All right, you know what? We might be able to make like a little, a little thing like this. Let me see. Back this up real quick. The back it this way. Okay, and then just zip tie right there. Zip tie here. Zip tie there, and then uh, corner, right? And then you have the three right there. And then what we'll do, what I'll do is probably anchor and zip tie this against the main 24 pin connector and zip tie it here. Just double loop all the other ones. It'll be really in line with this. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll do it that way. Much better. All right, so let's, uh, I'm running out of zip tie. I am running out. Okay, I got enough for that. Music is nice. So, uh, anybody out there that's interested in um, in just computers or just a stream in general, if you guys got any questions? Let me know. I love answering questions. Like you go this way. I really want to go this way. I don't think I want to go. Good. Yeah. Let, let, mm. All right. So, head here. Set it. Yeah, we'll do it. Everything will be fine. Tidy this up. Everybody's left me. This 
Jawohl. Hmm. Even if there's a oh, that's right, we have but we don't even have to Yeah, can just do it like that. Heck yeah, that's all Alright. Oh I forgot about that. I meant the not zip tie but Rip tie hold Velcro Should be it. All that's left. This back up. Hey, okay, we're nice. No, that's perfect. <laughs> Just like that. Cool. Look at that. It lines up and it. Here. Yeah. Tie you up here. Then we're. Keep you up. And now we're just gonna right in. in. Perfecto. Big, big, big. Here. Put you easily. Okay, and then we just. Brown, get you all nice and comfortable. Either way, um, let's actually do it for me. Burn! Alright. Now we just check to make sure everything works. Out of here. Sit. So, I know for a fact, none of my monitors, none of them run um, DVI anymore. So, I'm just going to use a different video. Um, this. It'd be great if the 5000 series. Hey, right, that's it. Final, final check. Okay. Um, let me get all the panels for this thing. Hold a panel. <clears throat> Anybody help me? Put this back in this little case here. Uh, let's make sure we get everything nice and neat. And thing that's not mine, not in my area. <laughs> That'll happen. And you'd be like, "What is this? This is mine? No, it's not yours." All oh, right, right, right. It was in my room, though. Crazy sob. All right, so um. Okay. 
cool, cool, cool. More screws. Awesome. What else we have here? Ah. Okay, so I can't find my standoff for this. Little bit of a shame, man. Because it can totally use a standoff. Have mine. No, I'm using them both. I think that's what it was. One of my homies. Um, and then uh, the one I got in my system. You know what? Where the hell's my motherboard? Give me just a sec. I think. thing I learned about this entire thing or make sure you do an ambient after someone's been in your room doing a deep clean doesn't matter who it is do an inventory all right so this screw here what it is it'll work um I'll just direct him towards a website he can get us standoff or maybe even if he goes to micro center tomorrow get a stand up that's over uh so put you here I think left hand I need this so I'm gonna plug this here See if I can not hands. Being ambidextrous sucks some <laughs> put it that way. Alright, so last part of this. Uh it's been three hours. It's going on four. It's not having some fun. Usual bits and pieces. No big deal. Um, need two hands with it. Hang on. Very least, I'm just gonna have it all enough. So, So, got that going. That looks good. Um, the CPU fan connector. Why you always, always, always double check your work. This is literally the only thing I got. So, back. Perfect. And she's ready to start. That should be it. 
CPU, check. Cooler, check. The power for cooler, check. Why is up here? Nothing here. There's no way the fans. Got two new fans in the front, one new fan in the back. Um, zip top. Okay, that's it. Uh, can't do anything about that. Let's just. Yeah, <laughs> uh, let me go get my 970. I don't know that'll work. Um, be right back. 970 in there. Plug it in. Look at that. Monitor test it and we good so give it a few seconds all right and uh we will be our b compadres
Okay, well, we're back. Just kind of doing. There we are. So, um, being this is a 10 year old video card, buy on it. Moment. A brand new 70. Well, a brand new 970. It's, got it from Goodwill, actually. $24.95. Back in 2016. New, sealed, it was sealed by EVGA, and they just someone just like sent it in at one point. So this is what I've been using to test stuff. Um, which is, it's it's great. I love this card. <laughs> For it's not the greatest now. It's nowhere near. But we have to admit, uh, even just oh no, that's H. I have an HDMI to DVI. Um, even for the moment, this is still a better card than 580. So I'm gonna pop this in here so I can test everything. We, he already knows the 580 works, it's what he's using. I don't have a uh, yeah, display, I have the so. Sure that work that we put in, we're able to test and everything works well. So. What we're gonna do real quick is I'm gonna drop this here. Um, he said, told me the five eight number. 970 2015. Oh, this new. So, this is what the board looks like on a 580. And this is what the board looks like on a card that's five years newer. Um, both, no, they're not easy. You can tell how a lot of stuff, just even when you're just looking at the board itself. Um, it's, it's definitely, definitely matured. Like there isn't as much uh, traces or uses. It's just minimal. In that sense. All right. So we're gonna put this aside. The old relic. <laughs> we're gonna drop a, a little a newer relic. Even. All right, pop this in. And connect it in here. Boom. Put the little screw in here to get everything going. And we'll. Monitor. Turn everything on. And be here in just a few. I'm gonna go get the panels for this. Close everything up except for that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Never gonna come back here until he decides to install that uh, 3080. Um. Oops. No. 
gas filter for the bottom. It hasn't been used. Never really turned on, so we're good there. Put this, oh no, this is for the front. Yeah, it's gonna get some nice air flow. Oh, nice and sanitary. Front part. So we need that rear cut up here. Nothing in here, but oh, is she still watching, Chief? Putting all your stuff in the box right here. So, get the display right here. Uh -huh. Nice plexiglass front. Your side panel. Let's knock this out. Um, we'll get a power strip real quick. Sure. 
alcohol. Alright, so put this directly into the bowl. Good. It's all shiny. Old school side power. Okay. Whew. Oh, the fun part. Oh, the fun. Fun part. Now we get to do all the fun parts. Power cable. What? Power cable. Fire 144p well, 144Hz monitor. Oh man, 1080p, the old school tournament edition gaming monitor. Asus, the legendary tournament edition gaming monitors. You know, back in 2010, this would have been top of the line. $800 crazy freaking monitor, 1080p. 144 hertz competition monitor. Blah, blah, blah. What's up? Um, I think it would be really nice, but I don't have a cable for. Oh, okay. This. Alright, hold on. Getting inventive. I'm gonna push this over here. Okay. Well, push it back. Tilt it maybe? Uh huh. <laughs> alright, alright, hold on. Okay, okay. Alright. I'm liking where this is at. I just want to see the panel. Push there. He's in the shot. <laughs> oh, that's why. Alright, we'll do it that way. Screw it. Um, the monitor's gonna sit on the thing. We'll stay. Last bit. One more, one more, one more pow power cable. <laughs> Last 
fast power cable. Yes. Plug you in. Treat you some lunch. All I need is a keyboard and mouse, so. Right. Here comes the fun part, testing everything. Here. before we get started. No. Dupe. All right. Yo. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, I was just making sure you were in here, man. All right, so, um, I already plugged it. Oh, I did. All right. Here we go. Ah, I got you on that one, didn't I? <laughs> Gotta flip the power switch, man. Yep, that's all. Yeah, it's gonna take a few seconds. Just first boot. Hey Google, lights off. Unlock. Hi. Lights off. Hey Google, lights off. Don't got anything on here is because you don't have anything on your drive, but uh, pop in the in the BIOS will should be good. Okay, Google, white lights. Got it. Good. Good. Let's do a restart. Where's the restart button? Back in. Eat. Hi. Take me to. Was it now? Hmm.
Inside, everything looks... Something I didn't see if yes you didn't get you didn't get as far as um well I got rid of all the other issues what in uh not going to bios frozen still running recognizing the Either it's not either it's not recognizing the keyboard or oh oh <laughs> it's tap tap to shift all specific this motherboard world um So that might be the RAM light. If that's the case, that makes Let's see what's up. Yep. Key RAM. Alright, we're unplugging. Is the RAM problem? There's a problem with the RAM. The RAM sticks that you got. Let's get the strap. What I'm looking at here, the RAM lights on. I better go. Damn, you had you got thirty. Cool, so. All right, you know what? I'll tell you what. Good control, right? Um, my stick that I have out here that I was planning to use works. So, my ramps in here. Bubble shoot. Try it again. Come on. Get with your best shot. Damn, like. Fourth record. Can't get into it. Oh, cool. I'm part, man. 
Why would the D Ram? Would the Ram light be? Let's find out. Wow, so you know how you still here? I know you're still here, but you know how you were telling me about the X570 tough motherboard files thing was like out of whack? Apparently, you weren't kidding, man. Like, this is no joke. They uh, did some stuff. And on um, separate RAM stick, works in another system, doesn't work. Put a system together, it didn't boot at all after tinkering with it, included reseeding the RAM and CPU. It eventually turns on, but it's kept closed. BIOS, the system BIOS came with version 11.05. Now it's supposed to be. Same shit, different day. <laughs> Misery loves company. There is an entire. Oh, this is bad. I actually tried to build one of these the other day. It's the same X570 motherboard. I'm making the board. Do I have refunded the board? Um. Okay. Uh. I had large quantity, large issues getting my board to get past the indicator. After which, find fiddling around, I realized that I've not seen the ramp. It takes a bit of force, more than expected. Even when I thought I inserted it, there's more room to go. Okay, let me. So, apparently, outside of the, the physical issues we were having, but everything up was. Secondary problem that's manufactured a manufacturer's issue with the actual either the RAM or the with the RAM you have two different So, you know. Kidding, it actually goes in a lot. Give that another shot. Uh, you have unseen this.
It's 2020. We shouldn't be having a gear with reset switches and emails batteries, man. Which... This is why it's hard to like, like figure out pricing when you're dealing. Nope, DRAM lights. Huh. this mic. Best. All right, there we go. I don't understand why this is happening because it looks like. Uh, Best. All right, there we go. I don't understand why this is happening because it looks like. Uh, uh oh, I gotta mute this. I gotta mute it. I can't mute it. There we go. Uh, yeah, this time I don't get anything. Hmm. All right, so this board, with all the research I've done in the past couple minutes, is notorious for having issues with booting because of the either the RAM sticks or the RAM in general. That doesn't make any sense because this is brand new and mine already works. And I am sure for a fact that, you know, and then we did get it to work just a second ago. It, minus the fact that it, it, it didn't want to boot into the BIOS. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gonna load up. We're going to see if we can find the correct BIOS. We're going to load it up on a drive. We're going to flash it. That's what we're going to do. Hopefully this has a quick flash. I'm going to check the manual. And if it does, we should be good. Um, let's check this first. Maybe we can get it to boot with just one stick by itself. Keyboard's on. Monitor's on. Still no response to it's trying to get into the BIOS. So, looks like this from... Wait. Did we get a flash or was that it turning the other thing off? Okay. So from what I'm looking at so far, um, this motherboard hates its BIOS. Uh, the BIOS. BIOS update, flashback. The perfect BIOS for this apparently is 2802. Oh my goodness. So Asus X570 Plus 2802. F10 maybe? Nope, none of that works. Um. Improved DRAM compatibility. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, issues because it's the third one since the 29th. I'm reading the Reddit right now. Um, looking at it, they're talking about they've added some stuff too. New BIOS didn't help. Went from 2203 to 2207. Both seem good. I'm still using the original BIOS that came with the unit. Um... Yeah, they fixed the blue screen to death issue. That's been happening on 3,600, 3,200 and above RAM. Uh, they flashed and cleared the BIOS. A couple of other things updated to such and such. These are the settings. Hmm. Okay. So the RAM light is on. Not going to recognize the RAM, or it hasn't recognized the RAM. There's no issues with it in general. Everything's seated properly. We're going to power this off. All right. I'll take the RAM sticks out. 
uh, disconnect from the thing over here. Okay. Now let's do some research, I guess. It's okay though, you know? When you're into a situation like this, gotta remember, it's never easy. And when you're dealing with computer stuff, it's almost like when you're dealing with car stuff, it's a little bit worse sometimes because car stuff, you know, you know for a fact that you're not going to be able to do anything. If you think it's going to take five minutes, it's going to take two hours or more. Um, let's just do the head, remove the headshot. All right. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. Open up an incognito tab. See, do that in here. Awesome. Control Shift B. Do do do. All right. <sighs> Let's close all this stuff out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and open up a new Open up a new window here. Let's do window capture. Color correction. Look at the opacity for this, so it's down here. Okay. So, um, now that we're over here, we're back at the desk. Let's just uh, change the audio. All right. <clears throat> okay, so at this point, we want to give this a shot. This is again the Asus X Plus Wi Fi. Tough. X570. Okay, so we got the bump board up here. Okay, let's see what the heck's going on, because apparently we're bat now we're in let's get the manual for it first. Uh first things first, we need to download the new no that's the manual for the BIOS. The PDF? Oh okay, hold on. I might be getting somewhere. Uh control alright. Z coupon blah 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 AMD configuration Where's the updating? Updating. Easy update. 50 is where we want to go. We're at 50. 50, 50. I'm at 32. 40. He's updating the BIOS. Alright, so. Easy update the BIOS in the Windows environment. But I want to do Asus Easy Flash 
Crash free restores the bugs using motherboard support DVD or USB flash drive. So we're gonna say that there's an issue with the BIOS and we're gonna go with crash free BIOS 3. And that'd be the best way to update this without having to worry about anything else. So looking at how this is set up, it's probably just gonna be about setting up the wait a minute. Da -da -da -da. BIOS from the motherboard, blah blah blah. Turn on the system, insert the motherboard DVD that optical drive with a USB flash drive containing the BIOS fire to the USB port. Utility automatically checks the devices for the BIOS file. When found, the utility reads the BIOS file and automatically enters ASUS Easy Flash 3. Uh, the system requires you to enter BIOS setup to recover the BIOS setting. To ensure system compatibility and stability, we recommend that you press F5 to load your default BIOS value. And don't shut it off while it's updating. So, turn it on, put the BIOS file on the USB drive, it automatically checks for it, and it starts the utility. Um, Alright, so let's go back, and we need to go to downloads, and hopefully we can get a download for this, drivers and tools, BIOS and firmware. Wow, it's on a beta version. AM4, oh God, <laughs> oh God, all right, all right, 2802. Um, ah, damn, dude. This is like experimental. It's experimental BIOS. Um, so top two of the beta versions. Last one is DRAM, blah, blah, blah. It looks like everybody's doing 2802 from what I saw on Reddit. So we're going to download that. That's downloaded already. Let me grab this. Uh... We'll fix this up. funny last place I went to I had to deal with uh, a BIOS issue <sighs> all right yep get rid of you you're a completely different OS all right so now what we need to do is load up the BIOS put it on the drive what is that this BIOS renamer excuse me and you have a wire a wire shard capture file for what? Uh, oh, okay. For some dumb reason, it's just trying to re. It's fine. <laughs> oh man! All right. Um, I'm assuming this, the instructions are always just to put it all on the side. So we're gonna do that. Gonna that right. We're all on F. Copying ninety nine percent complete. Now you guys can't see it. Uh, continue. Awesome. All right. Supposedly. <laughs> Put this in here and back down so that you could so if you plug anything in there, it would go. And we're gonna see if that's the so for right now we're gonna go ahead and remove window capture and give it another go. All right, double check everything.
Alright. Things plugged in. Mouse in hand. Clap. Alright, we got a new BIOS file. Let's see if it automatically takes it. If it does, we're good. That is fine. If it doesn't, we're gonna be it's gonna be more going towards moving towards an issue with the with the uh yep okay looks like it's reading from the usb drive possibly <laughs> it's just stuck on the all right i might have to go ahead and call in for some help <laughs> Let me see if I can get my buddy up in here. Cause... Oh. Who can I call that's available? That doesn't happen very often. Hmm. Max. Let's call Max. All right, let's mute all mic stuff. A call in for a friend. Well, apparently what's happening is this particular motherboard has an issue where it doesn't recognize the BIOS file that's installed and doesn't recognize the RAM. That's why this, this little amber light that's way over here, it's a DRAM light. Yeah, I know. I said the same thing. Um, <laughs> literally. So I was looking it up and uh, yeah, it is a hard one. I was looking it up and uh, outside of all the physical stuff that we had to go through, the biggest problem here is that this thing doesn't want to boot at all. So it doesn't know because it didn't have the instructions. So the only thing that you can do usually is plug in a, oh, wait a minute. Does this have a disc? If this has a disc, I could try, no disc, of course. It's 2020. You're not finding a CD in your freaking motherboard box. It's not happening. <laughs> but um, the uh, I looked on Reddit and I looked everywhere else, and literally this issue that I'm having is basically saying that they fucked up on the BIOS. And then I went to go try to get a new BIOS file, and when I look at uh, the BIOS file on their website, it says that they're in beta, two versions deep in beta. Uh, so this is like experimental. They are in beta. They don't know what's going on. They know nothing. My next best guess is to switch CPUs. See if it takes it. Because if I if I put in a 2600, the driver should be in there. The BIOS file should recognize the CPU. If this doesn't boot into the bot, you see that's the weird bit. It's not booting into BIOS. It's not booting because there's no other drive in there. I know you are, Loki. I know you are. Congratulations on, on you know, your whole, you, you're getting a publication and stuff and, and your whole book, like, being mass produced, uh, physical, in physical and e, e copies. You know what I mean? Um. This isn't beyond my ability. It's kind of pooped, because I didn't really eat much. Uh, what time is it? I know you wait did you you have the funds <laughs> published author yo 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 you'd be like hey look you know what last year sucked but I'm a published author yay <laughs> all right uh 628 all right so being that this is a 5000 series chipset going to assume it needed a BIOS update to be able to recognize the CPU. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my older CPU in here. I'm going to see if that works. If it does, we're good. We should be able to connect it to the internet or update it using the BIOS file on the USB drive. If that works and we can get into... Um, yes. <laughs> If that works, we can get into the BIOS, it should be alright. If it doesn't work, then there's something wrong with the motherboard. Gotta get that sent off. Or replaced. I'm leaning towards the motherboard, because 
even if we this does work out i don't like it like that's like oof all right i got lunch i didn't eat yet actually at this point technically um Yeah, let's do Okay. Always gonna have challenges. Uh, am I to do? Let's get the other chip. Let's just let's take a gamble. Let's go with that one. That's a good bet. Ryzen 2600. Um, that's enough generations older that it should function. For that, let's do the, the CMOS reset. Plastic tool. Oh man, oh man. Hey Google, purple lights. Okay, but you're gonna have it. All right, so we're all over that. Uh, over. Okay. Prophecy. If that does it, might. Might a little bit, but it See, most batteries out. Before we do anything else, we can just check the speed. Get that into the BIOS. Or hopefully it goes, yo, I've been reset. <laughs> Overkill would be downgrading the CPU and updating it that way if that's the problem. Because we're getting a splash screen out. I think that's um USB drive, just in case. Try again. And 
DRAM light really don't like you. Still on. I don't like that that DRAM light's on, man. Um, everything I looked at is a little negative when it comes to having that light on. It doesn't care. Wow. That is a problem. The CMOS battery is out and it's not even giving me a warning that it's out. It does not care that it's out. That's incredible. Um, that's incredible. Let me see. I can't believe that, miss. Man, let me call in some backup. <laughs> what the heck? That's fucking nuts. Um, oh cool, he's here. Alright, I'm gonna mute up real quick, guys. Appreciate you. Okay, so, person number three, let's see if he's available. Come on, buddy, answer the phone for me. What you got? Uh, who else can I tell? Yo, you there? Can you hear me? Ow. Can you hear me? Hey, let me? Let me lower you. 20. All right, try that again. Awesome. So, um, I'm on stream right now, and I'm working on my uh, client's computer, right? And uh, I want to know where we where we're at at this point, right? So, um, a lot of physical connection issues and some other minor stuff that was wrong. I fixed all that. Uh, I'm at the point where it starts. It's flash screen for the motherboard, right? You know, you get the usual prompt for delete or F2, and it just stays there. I took the CMOS battery out. It still stays there. I put in a USB drive with the latest BIOS update, and it still stays at that screen. It doesn't even recognize anything. Yes, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, no error codes. Like you get nothing. I I figured that's what it was. I just wasn't a hundred percent sure. So what's interesting is the DRAM light is on. The DRAM light is on, dude. But he, here's the thing, he just got that set. Like we literally just handed it to me and then my RAM, I, I put in there out of my machine and it worked. It, well, my RAM works in my machine. I just stuffed it in here and it's not working. Like the most you get is, is a, post, a, a post boot to the splash screen. Well, um, I put it both in, I get the same result. It, it boots to splash screen. That's it. So I, I was basically thinking it was the motherboard at that point. Cause like, it doesn't even respond to the fact that you put in a, the, the, the BIOS on a USB drive and it's supposed to run that emergency protocol to update it. it doesn't do any of that. 
Running is getting it to turn on and get to the, that splash screen. That's as far as I got with any configuration of RAM I did, including one stick. Yep. Yep. It actually listed on this. Yeah, it listed. But I mean, yeah, got it on here. Uh, I got 30, 30, what, this is 3000 and it's an X570 Ryzen board, dude. What? So I guess the stuff that I, but, but the stuff I have is specific for Ryzen stuff too. Like this is a course. And it's funny because all, all the issues that it's having right now were supposedly fixed in BIOS updates, but I can't update the BIOS. Uh, looking back at it right now. Yikes. Yeah. Specifications, and we get to sockets and stuff. I'm really here. Uh,. I know, but like the whole point is that normally they boot regardless, and then if you want, you get issues, it's usually after you get into an OS. Like not before, not before you get into the BIOS in general. This shit takes everything from unbuffered memory at 2133 all the way up to 5100 at, at an overclock. No, I took the CMOS battery out. It didn't even recognize me taking the CMOS battery out. We don't even get that far. I mean, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, dude, this works. It still has a charge. Yeah, it still has a charge. Oh, Lord. It's, it's, dude, trust me. Just trust me. I got you. I think it's the board, man. Yeah, this is, well, you know, when I hit you up, it's usually because I've done all the usual basic troubleshooting. I'm at the point where I'm like, well. <laughs> yep, reseeded the CPU and I went and I, uh, I, uh, re repasted it. Nah, I think it's brand new. He has the X50, the 5800, no, he has the 5800X. That was literally the second step. That's what I had left. I have a 26. No, I'm, I'm like five seconds into wondering whether I should or not. Because this is the, I got a, I got a Ryzen 2600. And I know this works. Uh, I could put it in there. But, I mean, you know. No. When I, I checked it when I looked at it, the, after I took everything out. I had to, I had to reposition every, all, all the screws and stuff. But, no. No, man, this is literally brand making new. It hasn't even seen 10 minutes of use time. In the case, it's on a handoff. I did that too. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, 
Now, if that's the case, then the main problem here would be the fact that doing this on a on a, a case that has built-in stand. And you. What it like it was too tight? No, no. This one, this one's the one where the, this is the one where the where the standoffs are actually the dome, and they raise the board itself. And it's built into the case. We'll check again, man. But I'm pretty sure. It Uh, everything's running though. Well, you know, originally this was run and run without about the twelve. You would still get to the bios on that end, wouldn't you? That's all, I'm not gonna lie. That's literally the only thing I had left and I was gonna swap the CPU and see what happened because that's, that was my last, literally the last thing I, 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 I thought about. All right, let me, uh, I normally just connect it to. Gotcha. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure, you know, I, I didn't I fuck up. I looked at everything else and I, I, I literally ran through all the steps. And the only one I, I'm really trying to avoid is CPU. It's easy, but it's annoying. You know what I mean? Like, I had everything. I did. That's true. That's also unfortunate, but that's also true. Uh, that's what I was. That was the only other thing I was worried about. Put it now, literally live. Right, and then like that was just that was what I originally thought. But what was weird is that this is the same series as the chip, so. Um, they didn't. They literally was like, "This will work immediately without a BIOS update." And then when I checked the uh, the site, they didn't mention any any BIOS updates that set up compatibility for the chip in the first place. Like you know, usually. Yeah. I got you. You're right. Let me, uh, taking the, yeah. Right. Um, we actually is going. Is Got it out already. It's just there's no vent. That's the thing, though. It doesn't mention sight. 
Usually, they'll be like, oh, hey, we know those new CPUs just came out. We went ahead and updated them for you guys. You know what I mean? But it was nothing. It's just some beta. That's all it is. Some beta software. Which is bad because it's on beta software and everybody else is having trouble just trying to get the run normally. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Beta software. BIOS update. Oh, no, man. So for now, we're going to put this in a plastic container here. Yeah, I got paper. Just make sure everything's well covered and stuff. Appreciate you though. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm probably. My guess is original bit where you know it might need a, a BIOS update. Kind of worried if that's the. Yeah, kind of worried about it. Now that that uh, of course depends if we can get into the BIOS. If we can get into the BIOS on the old CPU and it runs, then we know for a fact that it's just it's something wrong. Either something wrong with the new CPU or the BIOS update. And after the BIOS update, right? Then then we narrow it down to the fact that yeah, there is something wrong with the CPU. Um, Yeah, you're right. I can not, I'm not. That would be. Mainly like leave working on it. No, it's <laughs> All right. Um, you in the stream, I guess. I just put it in there. There's enough thermal paste on the, the block. On and yeah, I'm gonna post it in a few seconds. Alright. No, oh, bring it back up. Hey, we captured. Alright. Alright, uh, hop you off the call or what do you want to do? <laughs> Alright, well, I just dropped the 2600 in, socketed, um, plug the. Also, you uh, plug everything in, our cord, that close, that does, and of course, it's issue files. Cool. A DRAM might be on. Wait a second, wait a second. Oh shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It went it went yellow, red, white. Why is it red? Uh oh. Started. Hey, we're green. Oh, new bulb. Okay. All right, hold on. That's what it was. Bios update. Let me see. Let me see if I can... Oh no, man. Uh, this is new CPU installed. Please have to set F1 to run in the bio. All right, so at least we're running. Uh, temperatures at 32. Uh, all the fans. And pumps work. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much where we're at at this point. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't want to have to do it. You know what I mean? But hey, it's fine. Uh, yeah. No. Let's see. Thanks, bye. You basically, you, okay, look, look, look. You literally said exactly what I said before I called you. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't wrong, you know, cause so that if you were wrong, I could call you and I'd be like, you fucker, you did this, this, and this. But you know, if you're not wrong, then we both win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh god. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe super me. Hey, steam stuff's in here. At least it's five work. Um Oh, it's just not okay. Uh Go forth and conquer, young Padawan. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, let me be honest, dude. Like, this is that's where I was thinking when we were at. I was one hundred percent sure, and I didn't want to, like, you know, take another step before I realized it. But um, the biggest problem here is we got to get the new CPU running because that's my old one. So hey, look, man. Uh, I know he, he's he's in, he's in chat. He's like, man, I was sweating bullets out here, man. <laughs> um yeah your drives are working too so you know i just want to let them know no all right dude I i'll call you later i guess when i get everything going you can hop in chat and be all disruptive as you always are yeah oh get the hell out of here man if you weren't disrupting all the monotony how are we supposed to learn anything Ah, uh, come on! You gotta give me that one, man. I, I snuck around and hit you with that compliment. <laughs> All right, bud. See you later. <laughs> see you later, Shadow. <laughs> Dude's cool. All right, so now the hard part is trying to figure out what we need to do to get this to. Oh, wait, you know what? I think. I think, I think I could hit. Oh, but I'm not actually booting. I don't want fast boot. I'd be in. Uh, okay, let's do. Exit. Uh, you know what? Let's change the light color, man. Now we, we don't have to have all them lights. Let's get something pretty up in here. Um. Do, 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 do. All right. Okay, let's make off one. Let's change you to a nice, nice blue color. Well, blues are not, blues not really nice. Hold on. Hey. Okay, let's change you to purple. Let's do a purple. Can you do a purple. Purple. Eh, more or less. All right, let's take light two. Do light two to red. I want. That looks light. <clears throat> Man, I'm dry as hell. That looks lit. All right, so let's do this. Um, let's fix. Let's fix the camera real quick, since it was set up for nighttime stuff. Oh, daytime. Mm -mm. Okay, there we, go, there we go. Get some color intensity up in here. Uh huh. That's how purple it is in my room. All right, cool, cool. And mess the contrast. Let it blend in. There you go. All right, so fun part. Now, gotta figure out. Files version two four zero seven, and now you know what? Let's bring up. Let's bring up the window capture so we have the. We have everything popping in. Fade that into existence. Come on, fade it. Eeny, put the window capture. Ah, uh, up the window. Fade it. Fade to black. Get it back. Uh oh. Me just got an angry email. From who? Uh, hey, 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 hey. You, you telling me you, you you telling me you got enemies? Are you telling me you have enemies? Hey, look. 
Do I gotta go ahead and get him in the back of the car, hit him over the head with a fucking shovel, and run him down to the beach and have him sleeping with the fishes? You know, after he takes a long walk on a short pier? Like, like is, is this what we're doing? You know what I mean? Like, we, we're gonna have to bury a couple of guys? You know, come on. <laughs> All right, let me, um... So a little bit. Gotta remove this window capture. Capture. Oh, well then how do you get it? Yeah, you declined it. As you should have. And have the right to. Hmm? Really? Well, you know, what's interesting with that one is you now have a legal team behind you. <laughs> you should let them know that you, uh... You got some... Okay. Well, I really hope that you are able to do something about it. How many chapters do they have? Cause I'm gonna be honest, man, that was a lot of fucking commas. And if you think that I'm not gonna be burying some bodies over all that comma work I had to go ahead and find out and, and sleuth as a freaking detective here. You know what I mean? A lot of work on my end. <laughs> I will body you this. Why is it not letting me fade, yo? Cut it. Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta just see if I can get this work. It's not wanting to work. Uh, I don't know why, but it's not letting me. It's not letting me uh, bring in my. Oh man. For some reason, it's not letting me use window capture. I, I can't I can't show it to you guys so I'm just gonna have to read it uh, so what we're doing right now is we're taking a look the bios version that this is on 2407 so expanding all of the bios that are available 2407 was released on June 3rd 2020 uh, which means We're gonna go for the bot. We're gonna have to just go for the beta. Um, ah, that's right. I think it's F12. That's right. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna exit the little op defaults. Exit and save changes and set. This time we have the USB drive in there and it has the BIOS file. <coughs> That was good. I don't like this though. <laughs> Alright, maybe maybe we can get it to the maybe we can just get it to run flash it. Mm, I don't think so. It's not gonna Let's go. Uh, 
Told him, good luck stealing it. My work is under another contract. I'm fairly legal to having a field day with it. I'm not offering it. I the pelvis do so all kinds of fun. So the best thing you want to do there, Loki, I know this is like uh, off, is you want to make sure you have record of your conversation with them. Send it to your publisher and you let them know what's happening now. So if it becomes a problem later, um, trivia of it. Um, or you wait until you are signed. Um, and you talk to whoever you gotta talk to. Wait a second. What's Fluffy? No. What's he? I gotta go to. That's what I got. Okay, alright. Well, boop, three. The same old. Can't smoke to start off. Uh, More resets. Never did you know I was saving them. Yeah, then just uh, go rip them a new one. Have fun! It's hunting season! <laughs> uh, what's weird is I don't have to actually do it. Just... Let's take this out. Because obviously, this thing's being stupid. Here. Yeah. Let's just download the latest one and see what the heck we got to do. Because it's just not running right. I don't understand what it is. Download. Leave this. We're going to do it two ways. Gonna, since I downloaded it, gonna put it on a flash drive and see it the way. Ah, uh, god damn it, chat. I'm gonna also do continue. Now, here's the problem. If they're able to copyright your work before you, you do, because they can't do anything until you actually pay them. Pretty sure that's how it's gonna work. Something along. Uh, Oh, my mic, uh, and mm. my butt, butt hurts sitting in this little itty bitty freaking. There better. I cut the noise gate. Uh, okay. I'm also a little farther away from it. I'm over here. The mic's over here. Um, let's pop this back in here and see what happens. <sighs> Easy flash. There it is. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can do the update. You might be able to do the update. Hold on. Hey, it's processing it. Okay. All right. I see how it is. 
I think it's I think it's gonna update it, man. 2802, that's the latest version? Cause it was 24 something. Yeah, 2802. Alright, so it's updating. That's a lot of a lot of intermediate bull crap that happened in between, but it's okay. We're getting there. So no worries. Alright, we are almost done, peeps. Actually, let's just let's just kind of have this like that. We are almost done. <laughs> Yo, I tell you what. How, how about I? Uh, how, how about we? You know, we, we team up here, man, and we call it uh, what? Clientele services? No, call it. Uh, you know what? Nah, dude. Your bills in the mail. Man, this is the longest BIOS update I've seen in a minute. Does it really take this long to update BIOS, Chief? The bar is here. You gotta go the rest of this. Jeez. All right, so let's recap. Um, about one o'clock, about, about what, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, he dropped it off. Uh, there was a lot of hardware problems with this. Configuration was wrong, some power cables weren't connected. Um, needed to rebuild, reseat the motherboard, reinstall um, a lot of the cables and stuff. I mean, just, it was, you know, it's all right. We did it all on stream together. Um, I, tie, I couldn't help it. I had to tidy up some stuff. <laughs> oh man, dude! I, I'm telling you, after this, I, I'm gonna plug in the server and we can go have fun with all the crazy shit that we'll do, messing around with Proxmox and all the other stuff. Okay? Hell, we'll even do it on stream. Okay? Wait, what, what, what you want to do? You want to pinky promise that? <laughs> That's what you want me to do? There, I pinky promise. I pinky promise. Let's cut this light off. Just throwing all the colors and white balance off. All right, so we're almost halfway, about 20-something percent. Um, but anyway, I um, had some messed up fans. I put my fans in there. Got a little bit of lights. Um, rewired some stuff. We replaced the GPU because he had a, huh? a blood oath. Oh, Lord. I can't let that go through. <laughs> Um, yo, graphics card he was using the GTX 580. The GTX 580 paired with a 5800X. 5800X, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. Like, I was like, you know what, man? You could probably get the world record score. Just, just, just minorly overclocking this card because I'm damn sure he'll be the only one with that setup. Damn sure. Like I, I just want to bench it just, just to, just to say that that I benched a 580 with a 5800 XT X. Like that'd be hilarious, man. On 16 gigs of RAM, you know. Like I almost cracked it open just to redo the thermal paste. Like I was thinking about it. I was heavily thinking about it. <clears throat> I don't know, dude. We're almost done installing this, though. Like, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Hmm. Uh, check uh, on 
down to the blah blah blah. I have all my prox moxes and categorized now, so I can actually find stuff since I'm running so many VMs. I didn't get to see what are you what are you using to actually uh what are you using to actually um categorize your, your VMs, man, on Proxmox? Like are you just are you just saying that you, you kinda just did it though? Like is it one of those things? Let me see. Oh, you sent it to me, didn't you? Yeah, you did. What is this? Shadow, where are you? Resource pools? That's what that was? Wait, 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 wait. So you're using re like, okay, okay. Explain, explain. Before I, I drop in a really stupid, really stupid, stupid idea. Looks like we're at like 85% is what I had to guess. Oops. <laughs> okay. Man, my dinner has been sitting on the edge of the steps the entire time. I need to notice. Oh, man. I'm a little sad. She made me spaghetti and meatballs, I bet. Cole's view is on the left. Hey, don't think this is alcoholic. It's for true men. Non-alcoholic ginger beer. <laughs> a lot of stuff you got to be able to take, man, in life. Ginger beer cleans you out completely. <sighs> I can breathe. <laughs> Straight ginger beer. All natural. All right, so this updated. We're going to see what happens now. Oh my goodness. So this is, this is, yeah, Kane's blah, 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 intercept to recover bios, blah, 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 F1. All right, let's try this out. So a while back, went to my buddy Kane's place and, um, he made a special, special red sauce. <laughs> and it looks like it wasn't used in this dish. I thought it was going to be. But man, this tastes good. Mm-hmm. This tastes fantastic. Put a little bass in my voice. <laughs> All right. Put this down for a bit. <clears throat> Another little swig of this. Man, I'm telling you, you think you're not all right? You ever think you're not doing good? You just got to have a little bit of ginger beer. You'll be fine. You will be fine. <clears throat> all right, let's move this to the side and finish this up. <clears throat> not being able to easily find the VM since I got 20 VMs on my host. So you basically grouped all your VMs like you would group folders. All right, so this is properly updated. It's at the latest stable version of the BIOS intended for the motherboard, which is 2802. Now, what we should be able to do is we should be able to I should be able to take this out um, turn the unit off swap the CPU and get back into the BIOS that's the order of operations here so we're first gonna shut the unit off actually hold on let's do it this way I also want to change that one setting Yo, uh, uh, Shadow, what, what is that setting on, on an AMD motherboard, on, oh, on Asus motherboards that you turn on so that 
the voltage doesn't like the lights don't go off and on because of the voltage if that makes sense like it, it usually sets it so that the speed of the fan controls how bright they are but there's a setting you could turn off I'm gonna see if I remember it I'm just wondering if you if you know I think it is a fan thing though um, it's in the BIOS I know that much it's literally a fan thing it's so small it's so small but it's been running um, and this is running flawlessly yeah, frequency 3400 megahertz it went right up to it without even being overclocked oh no 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 that's a CPU frequency my bad it's at 2133 megahertz for the for the actual memory it's not overclocked hmm? man can you, can you do me a favor and search it up bro come on you, you, you can find it real quick I don't know, you might be able to find it before I do uh, AIO pump speed ignore that CPU core temp there's a Q fan control Mm. Enable QFAN DC for three pen. I think it's DC. I think that's what it was. If I save changes and reset, I think that might. I think DC is what does it. If it's not, then it's PWM. If that's what it is, it should just leave the lights on super bright but now that everything else is all nice and clear we're pretty much set yeah and I was the other one key fan uh, Q fan control where are you There it is. Yeah. F7. Save it and exit. Now it shouldn't. No, nah, now it's not going to fluctuate. Or it shouldn't. Um, last thing I got here. Mm. Mm. Nice, we're good. All right, let's turn this off. Okay, and we cut the power supply off. Hit the power button again. Unplug it. Unplug the video card. Unplug the mouse or the keyboard. Set everything to the side. And we're gonna. The final thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna change the CPU back. Ow. Change it back to this thermal paste crap. <laughs> totally kidding. The CPU is legendary. The 5800X. You gotta have a heavy X there, you know what I mean? Now introducing the AMD Bronx Bomber. So show stopper. <clears throat> show time CPU with Oh man. Okay. All right. Be nice.
speed. Nice. You did such a great job before. Okay, you're being a douche. Got it. Alright. Eh. Good. I'm grabbing my chip out of the plastic. Okay. Uh. Perfect. Perfecto. Finissimo. Alright, come on. So now, hopefully, that does it. Um, there was no mention of the whole compatibility bit on their end, which is a little worrying because it should have been. It should have been a mention. Um, let's put this in here, though. Nice drop in. Nice clip. Up and around. Alright, let's get the bottom one here first. Good job. Let's get the top in here. All right. Cool, cool, cool. That's what I'm talking about. That was quick, fast, and in a hurry. All right. And just like that, we did brain surgery, people. Brain surgery. Let's get my alcohol-filled microfiber cloth and clean off my hands of this bull crap. Thermal paste is gone. Gone, gone, gone. Okay. All right. Power it back on. Oh, that's right, we can't. <laughs> first things first, strap. <clears throat> we got power, we got the strap. Power, we have a strap. If you got power, you better have a strap. Need more power, need more strap. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Doop. Up, up, up. The switch. Can't be so risky. Can't be so hurry in so much of in a hurry. You gotta flip the switch, man, or you're not gonna be able to use anything. Alright, so hopefully. When I'm look, paying attention is that amber light right there. We want that to go. Yep. Give me that white. Hey boy! Alright, turn around. Give, give me the green. Give, give, give me the red again. Give me the red again. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Alright. Cool, cool. Green? All right, we're good. <laughs> That's it. It's over. It is done. Everything else is just him configuring his drive. New CPU installed. Roar! Ryzen 7 5800X 8 core processor at 3800 megahertz. <sighs> Mind blown. Done. Oh, yeah. Just in case you're not watching, Chief. I send a picture to the client to let him know that his CPU is working. And his computer is working, and everything is on, and working, because working is the important part. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba, success. I knew it was gonna happen anyway. Just uh, it's good to drop it down. What's the oom um noise? What oom um noise? That's the fan. All the fans. There's literally three, four, five, six, six fans? Six fans. All right, let's make sure of something real quick. <laughs> Loki or something else. Yep. You always get it's always good to check, you know what I mean? You just want to make sure that it's it's going that way. Like like I I know it's going that way, but it's just sometimes your brain kind of regresses and you go, hey, am I sure? Am I sure this is working correctly? Yes. You are sure, sir. 
Alright, we're gonna see if we can actually <laughs> accuse with a smile. <laughs> You're horrible. Alright, um, CP works, everything's good. This is his RAM, so we're gonna install the RAM, make sure it's at 3200 megahertz. Uh, let's do optimal. Yes. My brain doesn't have what? It's HT, hyper threading? Nah, man. Because when I say I got eight cores, I got eight logical cores. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Um, I have seven. Everything else is good. We flying, flying high. Remember, he's at 3,200 megahertz. Uh, Seven C. Um, that should be it. <laughs> okay. An author or narrator? <laughs> uh, Loki, I always knew you were an author. It just took this much work for the rest of the world to know. Because, let's be honest, nobody in their right mind is going to be able to create such an engaging set of characters that you do and play them as if they were real. Yeah, you have. But at that point, you weren't the na- mm, were you Were you the narrator? No, you, you were just, you were just pre-recording for your, uh, your ebook, that was all. <laughs> <laughs> Narrated by the author. <laughs> <sighs> oh man. Alright. Uh cancel. You know what? I wanna do I wanna cancel that too. Why well, we can't boot? Why can't we boot? It's probably some problems with his hard drive. I don't know. Uh, can we boot? Force files. Fast boot. Normal boot. Uh, do a normal boot after power loss. Setup mode. Easy. Ah, that should be it. Now it's just saving everything. So my question now becomes, was Windows installed on any of these hard drives, sir? That's my question. Well, walking behind me, just repeated on press number one. Hmm. All right, let's call up the guy and see how, how we doing. Do, 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 do. <laughs> no way! Ah! <laughs> uh, I get acknowledgments. Awesome. Um, 
Oh, that's awesome. All right, so there's one thing that we got to check that I can't like check afterwards, and that's just I got to swap this video card so I can put everything back, and I got to put this video card in here. So as long as those lights go orange, red, white, green, then we're good to go, and you can pick it up. I don't know. I mean, do you want to? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay. So either I use my real name in a book or use Grey Thunder. But wait, there's a pop. There's a pop. Oh, oh, oh. Shadow. Shadow. You got to think of the children, man. Somebody needs to proofread all the children's versions of her novels. A pop up book would be great. You know, we, we got to cut out all the killing and choking and woman abuse and, and, you know, death and dismemberment. But a pop up book would be a great idea. I think, I think that'd be a good idea, you know? It should be like, vroom, vroom, this motorcycle's nice and shiny, and it has really beautiful paint, and he really liked it, and she just keeps thinking about the beautiful paint, and it's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so we're pretty much done with this build. I'm just trying to make sure anything else in here that he might need me to do, everything else is pretty much taken care of. What we're going to do at this point, because I'm done. Oh, he's calling back. Let's see. Homie, you're still alive. Hey. <laughs> so we're, huh? You're still alive. <laughs> what, yeah, everything good? Yeah, everything's good, man. Um, none of your data is really showing up, but I'm assuming it's because you didn't install Windows on one of these drives. Like, like I see, I see actual data on here when I was looking when I was looking for stuff for um, like the BIOS stuff, so I can install it. So I saw like Steam and Blizzard stuff. So you have stuff on here. I just none of these have like a full version of Windows. So if you popped Windows in here, it'll it should just fix whatever drive it needs to be fixed, and you should be good to go. I would recommend it. Oh, well, they did. I did just update you to the latest BIOS and the la the one before the one I, I, I got you on. They said that they fixed a lot of the BSOD issues. So, I, I, hey, dude, look, I, I was literally looking at this and I was like, wow, I did nothing wrong and it broke. <laughs> so I looked on Reddit and I was looking for everything and, I, and then it was just a bunch of people going, I don't know why this isn't working. <laughs> My life sucks. The RAM isn't working. They were crying, man. Ah. Uh, what? What? What was that? <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> uh huh. Wow, that's crazy, man. Yeah, no, 100%. I mean, it, yeah, yeah. I, I'd highly recommend it because with you having a terabyte in here, it'd be great. Um, other thing, oh, wow, man, heck yeah. Uh, another thing I'd recommend is if you get a chance, get a, when you go to Micro Center next time, get a, a standoff for your NVMe drive because there is a standoff and a screw. Yeah, it is. Like, the screw you have in here isn't really that great because it's... Yeah, but it's not for the... It shouldn't be for this. Like, that's... When you see the standoff that I'm talking about, you're going to be like, oh. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> nah, dude, I got you, man. The first ones are usually like that. That's where you get all the, uh, you know, the, the fun stories. Yeah, that too. And the awesome stories. You know, um, but yeah, man, she's uh, she's all happy for you. I'm gonna pop your video card in here. Um, 
your uh, your packaging. It, it'll work. I just don't have a monitor that runs DVI anymore. Yeah, the micro HDMI. Like I, I, I it would be nice to have a cable for that. I don't have that cable, so that's why I just popped in mine in there. I knew it would work anyway, cause and nothing we're doing is affecting the video card. So it. Uh, Amazon, no shit, dude. Amazon Basics micro HDMI adapter to, uh, full HDMI, and or even DVI. Uh, I do, I do full HDMI. A actually, you know what? DVI to HDMI is better. Yes. Like micro HDMI, unless there is a cable that goes from micro HDMI male on one end to regular HDMI full size on another end, that that I'd use the I probably use that. I mean, you, you, mm, no, I was looking at um a power supply screw for you, but that's the only thing I would have done because that nipple that you have there is supposed to be for the. For the uh, yeah, yeah, you're talking about the plugging the card into the actual uh, the back of the case. Yeah, yeah, the um, the one you're using is the one for the uh, the door. <laughs> yeah, you have two. You need you need the you need that one on the other end. You just need to even if I use a fan screw or. Power supply screws are what were what originally were designed to be in there because all screws were power supply screws back then. Uh, so I can't. I mean, I might be able to find one. I doubt it. Um, but if I do, then yay. Then you should be all right. Oh. Oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I found my tray. I found my tray. Wait a second. And guess what? Your boy got a power supply screw. Even better. Even better. I got a nipple. <laughs> I got a couple of them actually, so this is this is good. Um, so I'll tell you what, we'll we'll take this out. I have two random nine seventies lying around. Uh, do I have three? Wait, no, I have two. Uh, cause I used to have one nine seventy that I used as my regular monitor thing, like back in twenty sixteen. If you look at my like my cover photos on Facebook. You'll see one where three monitors. I was running that all on a 970 overclock to hell and back. <laughs> three gigs of RAM, and I was pushing all the games at, at 5820 by 1980. Yeah, I was pushing. I was pushing everything. It was it was awesome. Awesome times. Um, this should work. But uh, but yeah, dude. Um, actually, I don't need my card in here anymore. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna turn this off and uh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, dude, like, I don't know, what are you running, like, two gigs of RAM in that card? I mean, shit, you're playing WoW with... Damn! <laughs> I mean, I, I can't really drop this because I gave this to my pops, so he's, like, particular about his equipment. So it's one of those. I, I would. Yeah, yeah. They updated that uh, eight months ago, some shit like that. Nah, I, I used to, but then I stopped because, uh, you know, I mean, dude, dude, like, I, I didn't have that adult money, man. I used to, you know, to be like, hey, mama, can I? Yeah, sure. Will this keep you in your room? <laughs> it will wait a minute you have friends <laughs> bruh bruh like you, you think you think I'm gonna do you like that man you think I got you like that yeah that was bad it was bad it, it, it was it, it was bad uh-huh you're welcome <laughs> No, I put it up top. There's two slots. The top one, top one's right there where the uh, the CPU is. That's the main slot. Second one's a. Oh, and the one that's just below the gra freaking graphics card has a. That's that's nice. It has a little pad. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. It looks like it, but the standoff that's there is for when you have the really, really long one that they kind of like don't make anymore, but it's there for funds. It depends. Um, but still, I, I, I'd still recommend getting a stand. We're talking less than a couple bucks, man. Like, it's not even like. Yeah. <sighs> you could have just had me build this thing from scratch. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it seems like a great idea. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, dude, like, I, I was fresh in it. I, I would have been like, yo, I got a whole book for you. Here you go. You want to go over everything? Yeah, and then, you know, your next one, you'll be fine. But, like, uh, it still turned out all right. I mean, it wasn't necessarily catastrophic. I just lost a day. It wasn't that big of a deal, you know? <laughs> I mean, I mean, what, well, dude, I haven't eaten yet, so... As soon as this is done, I'll be like, breakfast of champions. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, don't worry about it, man. I, I got I got this big bowl of spaghetti and meatballs that I've been like, like thinking about making. And then I finally made it. And then I left it there and it got cold. So it's fine. I'm just going to preheat it and I'm good. I also changed your fans because I hated your fans. All of them. Well, one one was uh, the two in the front, really. Yeah, the, and then the other one matched the one in the front. So I was like, I can't I can't just leave it there. I got one that matches, but it ain't gonna look good. So I was like, F forget about it. L look, you don't have any lights. Yeah, forget about it, man. You know you don't got no lights. L you know what? I'm, I'm gonna do you a favor. I got two white fans. They've been sitting there for like two years. They haven't done anything. They're high flow, capa high capacity, twenty five dollar fans. And I was like, you know what? Fine, just chuck it in, in your machine. It worked. So, you know, at least you, you got a little bit of light. You, you don't have all the light, but you got a little bit of light, okay? I'm from New York, Chief. I know. It's just how it happens. It's like the, the, the more you start talking, the faster you start talking, the more New York you start sounding. Like, it like yeah. come, I guess being down here, it starts fading away eventually. Well, but it, then it doesn't, again. in my case, it doesn't fade away. It's just that I had to, like, find a camouflage to protect myself, sir. <laughs> That's what happens because they sniff you out. You're a northerner. Yeah. You're a northerner. Both my parents are from New York. Yeah, that's why we got along really quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, yeah. like uh, we know. They, they just like they're like, yo, you're a northerner, and I'm like, four hundred years ago, say what? <laughs> oh, you're a southerner. What's up? Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> One time my dad was in New York and some dude wrote, yo, rolled down his window. I was like, go home, you redneck. And my dad's like, I'm from New York. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Stupid shit, I swear to God. All right, so final dust over. Everything's cool. I'm just going to – last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in and just have it run for a bit. I guess um, I'll start heading that way in a second. But that's yeah, cool. Man. Yeah, I have everything going, and then uh, I don't think I'm, I'm missing anything on your end. This should be it. So. Oh, wait, oh those are nails. Like, Did I need those? I'm just making sure, even though it doesn't have a display, it should just kick on and switch over. Yep, that's all I wanted to see. I was, was worried. It. I forgot about that. Um, hmm? That BIOS issue with that stupid uh, processor. Well, it's not just the processor. The that motherboard is a pain in the ass from what I was looking at, man. Like, oh, really? Well, yeah. Do you plan like, on getting one still? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna be honest. No. Um, yeah, at least now you know. Yeah, now I know. But God, dude, like, I think I, I think I might just save the extra cash whenever I get the cash. I'm not gonna lie. I could do a BIOS update on my motherboard and drop the same processor in there and call it a day. Like, cause I won't get that that so-called five percent increase whenever you know they unlock it. Whenever they decide to do all that crap, when I drop yeah. it, if I add an AMD like a new fifty eight hundred XT for example, or sixty eight sixty nine hundred XT, it would do uh, like this old crossfire bit thing that it used to do, where the RAM, the processor, the video card go holy shit we're in the same family <laughs> let's uh let's go ahead and speed everything up like 15 percent what's that much yeah so everything works um i'm done chief okay well damn thank you yeah man 
Um, not to start my day. <laughs> or your night, depending on. Are you a night owl? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty well, much. I guess. I guess that works out for you. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I just I, I randomly woke up at randomly woke up at 9 a.m. But I'm pretty sure uh, with the fact that I haven't really used a lot of energy, I should be I should be good till like four or five in the morning. There you go. <clears throat> Look at that. Yeah. I was surprised I even got up at nine because I was up for 23 hours prior to that. Bruh, same dude. Who are you talking to? The freaking <laughs> choir? You preaching, son? <laughs> hey, bruh. I'm telling you, man. I was like, dude, I've been up for like two days. What do you mean I woke up at 9 a.m.? I was confused. <laughs> I was confused. What the hell is this? You mean 9 o'clock at night? My man, <laughs> I, it, 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 I was literally like, is that the sun? <laughs> What's, like, what is he doing here? Oh, man. And you were like, good, I'll be there in like 10 minutes. I'm like, wait, what? I blinked and 20 minutes went by and I was like, oh, shit, I got to get dressed. <laughs> I didn't realize how close I put it in. I was like, oh, wow, he's right down the street. I used to deliver pizza there all the time. Yeah, I know. Not I know. I was, I was sure you looked close because the, you went to the same gym I did at one point. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that's a thing in the past. Well, I mean, you know, COVID. Yes, unfortunately. Yes. Unfortunately. Yes. What is this? Is there anything else I should here? Uh, all right, Chief. So uh, you good to go? You'll be here in about, what, 15, 20? Something like that, yeah. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, man. Well, I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah, see ya. Alright, bye. Bye. Alrighty. So, uh, we got everything knocked out. Everything's running. My CPU is all nice, chill, and happy. His CPU is all nice, chill, and happy. Dropping my uh, my old video card back in its, uh, its cage. Its box. Its funeral box, it's it's casket, and it's going to go right back into the closet, and uh, this card is going to be here for when I need to do test builds on anything, and I need it to run some stuff, like it just did today. So if we run into any additional issues, we will be good to go. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do, is we're going to set everything up, clean it up, prep some stuff, and uh, we should be good to go after that. There we go. All right, close up. Sweet. Hey, right, that's our little test bench. That was fun, man. That'll blast. Hopefully, you guys did too. Um, <clears throat> I haven't done this in a while. I like doing this. This was nice. You know what was that? Six hours, three minutes. Some minor complications in between, but nothing really serious. We had a lot of fun. We messed around with one computer. We got it working, and the owner's happy. And uh, I'm just going to sit here, do a little cleanup time, make sure we get all this stuff knocked out, keep kicking ass, taking names. Um, I might, you know, I, I might, might play some Miles Morales, Spider-Man, or I don't know. We'll figure something out. I might, I might play a game or two, or maybe I might mess around with my 3D printer. Um, or, or, you know, depending on who's here. I might uh I might do that server bit. I just gotta plug that in and get everything going. Which is nice because now I have the cable and display for everything, so that should be cool too. Alright, we'll just clean up a little bit. Enjoy the little music. Um so we basically did an upgrade from a twenty six hundred to a fifty eight hundred X. Um had to Fixed some wiring issues, added some fans, and just learned along the way. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it. Um, had some trouble trying to find some stuff. I had a lot of fun though. Let me make sure this time I don't I don't leave anything of mine specifically. Uh, let's review what's in this box just to confirm, because this box is his box. So we have his thermal paste. Check. We got uh, the base for the Wi-Fi antenna. Double check. Um, I'm pretty sure it goes this way. Okay, let's, let's go this way. Let's go through. Let's see. Maybe it goes through. Hold on. Uh, or maybe it goes this way. 
<laughs> that doesn't slide in either. No. What is this? What is what is this? It's like super simple stuff. Yeah, usually. Uh, ah, okay. So maybe. Is this two pieces? Oh no, that sounds like it's forcing stuff. We don't want to force anything. Okay, let's do it this way then. No. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, maybe... Like, how is this supposed to stand? Anyway, um... <laughs> not my problem! Got the container for the RAM. Uh, we have a uh, SATA cord. It's got all the usual power connectors and stuff for the EVGA power supply. Uh, this is peripherals. I think he has three VGA, and if that he does, then he's lucky. Yes, he does. So these two we're gonna keep together. So when he gets his new card, whenever he gets his card, these are in the box. So now he has three, and then uh, I'll probably print out some. Oops, sorry guys. I'll probably print out some uh, 3D printed um, connectors. 3D printed. Uh... Oh man. 3D printed cable combs. Um, alright, good then. Alright, that was, that was fun. I had a lot of fun with that one. Um, hey Google, white light? Ah, uh, I gotta turn that back on. Okay. What's this? Okay, so we have, he's just sent me. <laughs> okay, listen to this, guys. We're gonna end off on this note. He just sent me. A screenshot of the review for this motherboard on Newegg.com. Pros, works as expected once the BIOS blue screen of death issues were fixed. Cons, it took two full days of frustration to figure out that disabling Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in the BIOS would stop Windows from caching constantly. Crashing constantly. Um, overall review, I've been building my own systems for about 10 years. I'm at 17? 18? 18, haha, <laughs> okay. Uh, 19 technically, but anyway. I've been building my own systems for about 10 years. I decided to switch from Intel to AMD for multi-cord hyper-threading capabilities. Uh, this was the most challenging build I've ever done. Previously, I did my research, ordered my parts, put them together, and everything just worked. This time, when I installed Windows, it would run for 5 to 10 minutes without crashing, typically with a blue screen of death. I tried various hardware and BIOS settings for the RAM, video card, hard drive. I've tried updating Windows and installing different versions. Sometimes Windows would blue screen of death during an update or even blue screen of death during the in initial installation. I was just about to return this motherboard because it appeared to be defective, but by sheer luck, I disabled Wi-Fi and Bluetooth in BIOS, and suddenly everything just worked. I've been using the system for two days with no crashing whatsoever. I st I'll state this clearly for anyone who may have a similar issue. Disab disabling Wi-Fi controller and Bluetooth controller in the BIOS fixed my blue screen of death issue. I'm not sure if the issue was caused by one or both of the settings, but since I don't need either of them and my system is working now, I haven't been interested in changing either of them back to test it. That's heavy. That was sheer luck. That's heavy. I don't know what caused that guy to do that, but I'm glad he left a review because I'm going to tell you right now, I am not buying this motherboard. Ever. Ever. You can keep it. Uh, <laughs> we're going to turn that into a sound bite. You can keep it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, where is my, his, okay, here it is. So I can honestly say, this is annoying. I would probably not recommend this motherboard because it's having a lot of issues. That's all I really got. It's good if it works. If it doesn't work, it's not good, which is with everything, so. Is it with stuff that doesn't work? I don't know, man. I mean, like, every Ryzen motherboard review is riddled with my stuff. Doesn't work. I don't know, dude. Um, I never had a problem with any of the Ryzen builds that I've built, and I've built four of them. Three for customers, one for me. Mm. 
five. I'm counting this one because I did everything, including um, mess uh, wire management. So five, and across three different ge- generations of Ryzen processors. So I can definitely say that it shouldn't be that much of a problem. So I know for a fact, if you're having an issue, it's this itself. This is shitting itself. It's either the board itself or the RAM, but usually it's the board. Um, that's basically it. So one thing I might do is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has seven slots for in the back here. I don't have black filament, but I might actually just print print black um, print some um, filament back here. No, use some PETG filament I have, uh, and probably print this out for him, so he has his his plates. Cause it's kind of sad to look at a case like this and not have any plates. Any shields to hold everything in, but it's good that he has an exhaust fan because even though this is all open back here, um, we can still pull some air out and it won't be stagnant and slowly seeping out of here and heating up the car too much or any of the other components that are in the system. Um, dust filters is still installed on the bottom for the power supply, so we're good there too. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was it. This was nice. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys did too. Um, I'm going to come back in a few. What we're going to do is see if we can play some video games or something. Um, I'm going to eat and then uh, I'll clean up my desk and I guess we'll, we'll just move on from there. We got one, two. Is this the... Yeah, this is it. I got the wrong, the wrong nubby down here at the bottom. I want this one. It's the one that came with it. So. Alrighty. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Um, how about uh, we call it a B right BRB then? Let me see. Yeah, we'll call it a B right back. And I'll be right back. You guys have fun. Thank you very much for hanging out. Give me a few minutes. Get everything recollected. I'm going to get this downstairs to him. So it looks like he's pulling in now. And uh, be right back when uh, we go. we're gone. We'll probably play maybe maybe the new Watch Dogs. Let's, let's try that one out. For now, enjoy the music.
Okay, we are back guys. That was awesome. So I can finally take the strap off <laughs> Not gonna mess with any hardware components. So I went ahead and delivered that to him. He, he came by to the uh, I don't know yeah, The gray dome the what, what, what did I call it? Great tower. That's what it was. I called it great tower. He came by and uh, We had a little bit of a discussion by the way. This is what the camera was sitting on the entire time uh, and um, if you guys give me a second, I can at least, at the very least, cure you all from your vertigo. Uh, eh. Perfect. Perfect. I love that angle. All right. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, so um, he came by. He picked up the unit. Um, <laughs> let me see what else we got going on, cause uh, I think there's some stuff that I'm basically missing. Small amount of stuff. This little IKEA lac table. I got my, my my breakfast and lunch and one thing, cause I was trying to eat, but I couldn't eat. You know, cause I, I was busy. I was busy. <laughs> um, let me see here. <clears throat> this is good stuff, man. Food tastes better when you work for it. Even if it's just like a mental work, you know what I mean? It's cold, but it still tastes freaking phenomenal. We ran into some minor hiccups. It was nothing, nothing too serious. It was just more of a, more of a, you know, I, I wanted to try to just, I don't know. You know, the weirdest part is like, I know I could do something, but it becomes like, how, what am I supposed to charge for it? You know, that's a question I haven't really like, like I, I conceptualize it. I understand it. It's a business type thing, right? But I, I don't know, like. Shadow, humor me here. That job I just did, right? Um, what would you charge for that? Like, it, it, it seems so circumstantial, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I mean, you know, like I, I originally said uh, an update would have been like 30 bucks, something like that. Um, and then like $50 for like everything else if I was gonna build it. <laughs> you gave up doing work for people and charging no one wants to pay. Yeah, I feel that I'm kind of where I'm, that's kind of where I'm at Because like Even though I'm a certified technician and I work and all this other stuff and I've, I've done a lot of other things. It's like I Don't know man people appreciate it, you know um, But at the same time they, they, it, I don't know man they, they, it's not like a respected industry when it comes to dealing with consumers in that regard. Um, six hours and 35 minutes, man. This is the longest stream I've ever had. But we out here taking a break, eating some foods and stuff. Um... Um, 
I don't know, I normally say like a hundred dollars. Even if I take the streaming stuff out of it, it would took it would have really took me like two hours. Something like that. If I had to like yeah, cause six two it would have took about two, maybe three. I still want to say two hours because I, I like taking my time and making sure since I have the time to take my time unless you know it was urgent but even then getting it back same day is almost impossible when you're dealing with like actual companies and stuff when I work for Staples they had a taken fee of 50 bucks and then you'd have to pay for the service itself out a, a la carte or if it was like virus removal type stuff You pay for the flat fee for that service. Um, before all of that, <clears throat> man, this ginger beer is no joke. <clears throat> Sparkling, botanically brewed, Summit ginger beer, non-alcoholic. Like you think you think you coming down with a cold and you need something to talk? That'll get your chest warmed up right. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I mean, we just spent six hours. We worked on a, on a client's machine. It was a X570 Asus Tough Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. And... Um, that was attached to a GTX uh, 580 and uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah, everything else that was involved with that was just it has it, it, the main thing was that the power connector wasn't in. A lot of the stuff was kind of shorting itself because some stuff wasn't connected properly. The CPU fan wasn't connected properly. The the uh, wiring for the um, the Corsair cooler wasn't done properly, but it's all minor stuff, really. Good platform, old GPU. I still feel like you know, I I really do still feel like I should have I should have benchmarked it. You know, I kind of wanna, but it's fine, it's fine. Cause I'm like, dude, let's be honest, who's gonna benchmark a 5800? On, with an X580. Oh no, with a 580, excuse me, a GTX 580. It's 2010, bro. Like, that has to be rare. Like, there's no way there's anybody else, like, benching GTX 580s or anything anymore. Tiny little school chair. <clears throat> Had a lot of unique chatters today. A bunch of people popped in. I didn't know. Um, I really appreciated it. It was awesome. Supermodel Game One came came in a while back. Um, Loki was in here. Shadow was in here. Leon was in here. It was a lot of fun. Um, let's check out another game. How about how about we check out a game? Hmm. Yeah, how about we check out a game. Let, let, let's let's change some stuff up. We haven't tried. Uh... Let me see. Let me change the. Let me see. First client build. Slash.
Little Watchdogs Legion. Okay. Update the info. We're gonna go ahead and let's play a little bit of Watch Dogs Legion. I haven't even checked it out yet. This is as fresh as it gets. Um, no touchy. Haven't done it yet. So, just gonna make sure everything's all nice and crispy. We're set up here. And let's, uh, let's see. Playing some watchdogs. We gotta get in that watchdog mindset. So. Okay, there we go. A little differently. Just want to see how it plays out. So let's see. Let's do. Let's do some filters. Let's see. Let's see if we can play around with adding the chroma key and some purple stuff. Ooh, that looks nice. Let's change the similarities. I don't know how that looks totally. Same time, I'm also trying to figure this one out. Let me preview this real quick. Preview! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's do this preview here. Alright, this ain't looking that bad. Hmm. This looks nice, actually. Okay, we'll do it that way. Alright, last bit we're going to have to do is probably some color correction on the camera stuff. Um, it looks a little dark, I know. I'm just transitioning. See? Alright, let's try this out real quick. Let's see if uh, we can configure the video just a bit and play around with the color settings. So. It works out and it looks a, li a little bit nicer. Okay, maybe some white balance. Mm. Ooh. I like that. That's pretty cool. It's hip. <laughs> All right, let's try that out. Oh, that's right. I still got some light. Hold on. Let's flip this around. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. We're getting somewhere. Let's uh, let's fade this through real quick. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. We got something, boys. All right. Okay, so we're gonna be playing some Watch Dogs Legion today. Oh my gray hairs! Oh my gosh. Anyway, playing some Watch Dogs Legion. Um, let's go ahead and get this get this show on the road then. Party animals. Okay. Uh, I probably gotta switch my keyboard. It's <laughs> looking for patches and updates at the moment. Just a sec, guys. Oh, that's right. That means I gotta change the, the game. Yep, there it is. Watch Dogs Legion. 
update. Hmm. Wait, let me see something. Hold on. Oh, okay, that is correct. Set up. I'll do it. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it later. Alright, we're good so far. Uh, mm -mm. <coughs> I'm probably only going to check it out for an hour max. An hour max. Man, this speed is crazy. All right, let's do, I think it's a window capture. Can I do a window capture on Watch Dogs? No, I cannot. Nope. Can we do a game capture on Watch Dogs? Let's see, can we do a game capture? We're gonna have to cut out all the music for the game. Man, that's crazy. Display capture. Display capture no game capture there it is. Specific window. Alright, just gotta wait. It's almost there. She's loading. to get the real computer to start screaming today we're gonna work this 3080 to its whole <clears throat> to its limits because this would be one of the this would be the one game that I decided to play in um, full ray tracing we're gonna see what, what the difference is and what everybody's touting about it's not done installing everything so give it a few minutes we'll be we'll be good to go Launching the game now. Almost there. Okay. Play? Oh, it started already. Never mind. Or did it just crash? I'm not sure. completely taken over there's the game uh, <laughs> hold on alt tab oof okay let's let's transform you to fit to the screen and then shrink you down just a bit so you are uh, within the parameters here so we could play this game um, okay uh-oh. What happened? Okay, put this under everything. Oh, wait, wait, it has to go under video capture device. And then we're going to go ahead and do a transform fit the screen. And lastly, 
quick some move transition. Oof. Like that man, you'll slide. <laughs> Alright. Um Actually I think I'm gonna yeah, probably just get it so it's not in the way of chat. Yeah. All right, Loki, what happened? Alt tab. Here we go. Menu. Menu narration. Off. Okay. Don't need it. Spoken language, written language, don't need that either. Subtitle mode. Let's do, let's do full captions. Uh, talk with the closed captioning for events. Mm, no. Sure. So if anybody's out there and they're not able to, they're not able to, ooh, that is, that is disruptive. Like, this is like massive change. Okay. Like, oh, that's why. Jeez. Both are barely visible. But they're barely visible on the lowest brightness setting. I don't like that. I want to see some detail, man. Come on. Unless you're looking to like... Like 50 is literally the limit. We'll just leave it right there. Oh. Oh, well, that's funny. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, the campaign. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, wait, wait. Please, please have options. Thank you. Can we go into sounds, please? I do not want to get hit with any music issues here. There we go. All right. Um, that is fine. That is fine. That is fine. Okay. I just did not want to get hit with any music. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to back that up. And we're going to play the campaign. And we're starting a new game. Uh, permadeath? Hmm. Uh oh. We're gonna give this a little bit of a shot. I'll check it out.
Hold on. There we go. Oh wow. Resume. What's our status? Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Hmm. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bagley? If you haven't rushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. Let us hold this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. Yeah, King. Mm. Let's see what's up here. Yeah, I disabled all the music though, so none of the music that you're hearing is part of the actual game. Oh wow, I went right into Ultra. Hmm. Yeah, I went right into Ultra. Let's put that on Ultra too, fuck it. Um Fuck it, apply. Mwahaha. Okay. This is everything maxed out. Oh god. That hurt you more than it hurt me. Oh lord. Uh Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? Shit, you guys see this? L look at that water. Holy crap. That's insane. Yeah, you can see yourself through it too. Wow, that's crazy. Alright, um... Oh man. Okay, let's go.
They've got loads of dead set gear down here. Hmm. And why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. I feel like this guy's gonna die very quickly. Who are these men in black anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck me. The entire place is rigged to blow. Oh Jesus, god. Those canisters. Badly is that. RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Ooh. Their profiles are heavily encrypted. No identifying information. Uh, ghosts in this system. They've staged dead set propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are going to blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. I feel like he's not going to get to the detonator. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. of commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the center of government. Oh, shit. Really hope he deactivates the hell out of that. I found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. We don't have a chance without Bagley. Ooh, ooh. Wait, I might know a workaround. We trained your manual overrides at MI5. You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize you. So, fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. Oh, shit. Company at our back door. Oh, shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. Fuck. Uh oh. It's crazy how old these guys are compared to the other They're guys. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. I'm Checking playing on a Kunis' advantage too. Nothing to report. Checking elsewhere. Could be anywhere right now. Q. Bagley, update. Oh, Let's no. just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti-tamper security is. Still working. Ah, Bagley, tell me you're close. I'm through security. Now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. Me? 
get the fuck out of here. You think you think after all those shooting games that I play that I'm gonna get I'm gonna get hit by these douchebags? No, that's not happening. Alright. Hmm? Problem, Dalton. I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up. <sighs> Bombs diffused. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Ugly, you bastard. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bible. Oh, shit. Oh, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. Well, my sisters at the Tone Conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it... I can shut it all down. Oh, no! Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Oh, man, dude. Dude! This is good. Uh... Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. Uh... I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, ops, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Okay, Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, if this goes... It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. I gotta say, man, gaming on one of these uh, Kinesis Pros is no joke. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Um... Q. Three. Q. Some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of. Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the Great Fire, the Blitz. There's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. 
and it begins today. Zero day. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh shit. Series of explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected... This evening, mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser-focused on... Today at 10 Downing Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down DedSec, the terrorist group responsible... Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of DedSec. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. As crime numbers take a dive, illegal gambling, drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates, the streets of Camden and Brixton. As Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs, thanks to the deployment... Big news outlets, reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated. Possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few to reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group DedSec were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply do not support any other story. Mm. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DedSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. Oh shit. Mm -mm -mm. I'm Claire Waters and we've been discussing the hacktivist now alleged terrorist group DedSec on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now I've been saying from the start we should have round up DedSec and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at Tom! Look crazy? at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think, if anything, huh? DedSec showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find DedSec more frightening than the different gangs in London, like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? 
Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to... This is running too smoothly. This really looks really, really Shit. good. Situation is worse than I thought. Mm. Uh, but there's a candidate. Looks like your dead sex best hope. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, that's cool. Let's see what we could do here. Video game designer. Let's see who we got. <sighs> Football player, bouncer, fake coupons, private phone line of police commissioner. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Police contact. Mm, regular. Nice. Former union rep. Post to review the National Galley. Pure wank. <laughs> so we got this guy, Ilya Koval, video game designer, runs hacker form on dark web. Or a cryptographer. And then a guy that drives a motorcycle. I'm gonna go with this guy. See how this works out. It's crazy. Really? I don't know. I like this guy. Glad to see you're alive. If you're hey, still committed man. to the cause, dead sec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Fine. I don't like how he runs. Yeah, dude, I've been uh, I've been streaming all day today, bro. My seven hours plus. Let me see. Whoops. I figured that was the case. What's that? Are you jaywalking? <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, I was building a computer. Well, working on a, a buddy's computer. Client's computer. So. Honestly, I'm pretty damn tired. There's other stuff I want to do. Yo, like I I'm can't get over how good these reflections are, man. Look at this. You see this, bro? Like what? Like I get it. I got a 3080, man, but that's insane. You can see his leg, the bottom of the shoe. Holy crap. All right. Um
Alright, let's open a map. Tab. Hey, I'm going the right way. Hold E beside a vehicle to get in. I don't know, what kind of vehicle is this? I mean, the case isn't really going to be like the main thing for airflow. It depends on, on how you have all your fans facing. You want it facing up <clears throat> and away. <clears throat> but also, um, that's a very hot chip in general. Only thing I know that normally cools that little thing off is... Uh, I don't know, can I just get in here? Hold on. We self driving. We are self driving. That's awesome. What was that? Like, nobody was driving it. It was just. Alright, hold on. Sorry, Chief Brain. I'll gotta do some research on that. On that uh... I'm confused. <laughs> Anyway, I gotta do some research on the uh, the cooler. Um, you say it's running hot. What are your temps? And whatever the hell your temps are, download uh, HW monitor, and then tell me what it says your CPU package temp is. downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You will have to do the manual override. Smart move having redundant systems like that. Can't trust anyone, right? Later then. Yeah, dude. Um, your chip literally just maybe it may just be that way. This is way, what dude. you wanted, mate. Get to it. Sorry, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm probably gonna play enough that we can just do a minor intro of coming in, and then we'll we'll actually check this out later on. Sabine. Right, where's the fucking light switch? I don't like this guy's voice at all. Uh, alright, what is this? What does this say? Coming up in today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London.
pretty much my favorite topic. I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origins. It's so present everywhere we go now. Bagley just kind of blends into the background. Bagley is the service AI that's present in every optic device. Whether you're using optic, Bagley will be there. The AI is streamed to your optic from Bloom Central Command Center, and it was- No DedSec registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exit, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Whoa, whoa, it's all right. I'm supposed to be here. Uh, authorization code Sabine sent me? Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. <sighs> But yeah, dude, if you're, uh, if you did all of that. Hello and welcome back to the and it's still hot. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS Reset your bio settings so you're not overclocking. The city operating system that's now powering all of London. For those of you who need reminding, as if Man, anyone dude, does. Shit. Ah, amazing. that's it. I'm reconnected to the network. Downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Don't Coming up in today's episode. Okay. The wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Sounds like a proper conspiracy, Bagley. Who was really behind the bombings then? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this zero day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. <sighs> but yeah, man, if it's still doing that, the only thing you're going to have to be able to cool that thing off is in an all-in-one water cooler. Uh. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group mm. known as Zero Day. Ring any oh, bells? Mm. No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Fuck, that's mental. You were lucky to get out alive. I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. <sighs> yeah. About that. I'm guessing that if I join up, that kind of attention extends to me, right? Christ, Sabine, it's fucking risky. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. That's crazy, dude. London is in a death spiral. That's the and kind of tense that you get when it's overclocked. Me, no overclocked. One can. Not overclocked, overheating. Like It's actually resistance. overheating. I wouldn't fuck with it, man. And it what, starts with are, you. are you using uh, the hardware monitor? What do you say? Program? HW monitor? Download that shit, man. I'll say I'm here. Say what the hell. Let's get to it. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. Jesus Christ, man. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DedSec. Tech points. Nice. It. I need to drive. All right. Mm. AR cloak. That's pretty cool. Spider black. That's a crystal. Taste strong
get a cloak. Yo, you know the button battery that's inside uh, your case on the motherboard, bro? Just pull it. Literally pull it and reset, restart the machine. And call it a day. I'm Claire Wolf. Coming up in Hello and welcome to today. There is a silver button battery, it's uh, an old school silver button battery on your motherboard in a little slot. Take the battery out, power off the machine, oh, power off the machine, unplug it, take the battery out, turn it back on, put the button, the battery button back in, and you congratulations, you just reset your your CMOS, which resets to your bio settings. It's like a watch battery, dude. Or the battery you would put in uh your car remote. Same thing. Oh. <sighs> yeah. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. Okay. Where? Here? Nice. Ah, I like this though. Damn. Um, this kind of blows. Oh man. Yeah, I don't have enough to be able to do anything. Uh, shoes maybe? Nope, none of that. Face wear. It probably is, man. I don't know. Alright, I'll wear this mask. I'm gonna do, uh. Yeah, see? Mr. I don't. I don't freaking. <clears throat> Hold on. I swear. No gloves? Yeah, dude, um, I'd still pull the CMOS battery. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DeadSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Uh, Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DeadSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. 
Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. I'll be right down. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to last any more longer than this. I might be able to do this little fight tutorial and then that will be it for the night. Did I hit eight hours yet? Couldn't have done that better myself. Damn. You're getting it! Ooh, hold on. That's heavy. Um uh, Alright, let's let's go back to video. Let's do what was it supposed to be? Uh No, I'm not at three hours, dude. I'm at seven hours, thirty seven minutes and thirty eight seconds. Let's do let's do very high. I don't know. Um this one, let's make this two. It was at two. And then we're gonna do ray tracing. The medium is fine, doesn't need to be that bad. We'll do performance, do balance. Ah. Fly. Much better. Immediately sped up. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. God nice damn. One. Couldn't have done that better myself. God damn, dude. Prick. Prick. You got me all sad up in here. Quick on your feet now. You want to create space? distance. Who nice throws one. like that? That's nice weird. One. Oh man. Oh, it's a real fight now. I just feel horrible. How are you gonna beat up an old lady like that, man? Whether she's a professional boxer or not, that's cold, man. That's cold. <laughs> what the fuck? That's cold as hell. Just beating up an old lady like that. I don't care if she's a professional right. boxer. Gear in order. Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early. Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the oh, leg work. Man. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. Alright, so... That was this. Yeah, me too, Chief. I'm off the bed. I'm gonna call it. <laughs> um, this seems like fun. I like the game. I'm gonna. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I guess I don't need to save anything. But uh, yeah, we're gonna call it for now. This is great. Um, Outside of everything else, guys, I had a blast today. I helped this guy with his computer. We worked on some bunch of stuff. A lot of people came in and chilled. Um, thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Like, it's it's weird, but it feels like I'm actually getting more successful at this little by little. Um, in the meantime, everybody stay electrifying. Have a good day.